Oh yes. Give me a knife for that. Hello everybody and welcome to Encounter Roleplay. My name is Will and I run a channel known as Encounter Roleplay, which is the one which you are currently watching right now on a place known as the internet. Uh, today we're going to be making Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition characters. Uh, we did it a little bit less last week, um, but I'm going to be taking some requests. So if you have a dream D&D character that you'd like made, then uh, here's the tweet uh, in chat. Uh, I'll be taking suggestions on Twitter, uh, particularly looking for players who are beginners. Uh, that don't have necessarily like the ability or too much confidence uh, in creating their own characters and I'll be helping them through it. There are a couple of rules or a couple of guidelines, more like guidelines, uh, on that tweet there. Basically, reply to the tweet uh, with a race and class, uh, player's handbook or Volo's guide characters only. Uh, I don't want to be doing too much homebrew stuff because Good lord, will I have some madness knowing the things that we looked at. Uh, and give me a little bit of additional info as well. I'll give you guys a couple of minutes to get in some suggestions. And, if not, we'll just talk a little bit about character creation as well. We touched on it a bit last week. Oh my god, this is getting intense music. Uh, but it's an uh, it's, uh, important, important topic for, uh, for folks and one of the easiest stumbling blocks. Uh, no one after the Arcana stuff, man, because then we get into the mystic areas. So let's just go super basic for it. If I could buy one book this month, would you say Volos or Yawning Portal? Uh, are you DMing? I guess so, right, because both are... Uh, yeah, I guess you could buy Yawning Portal for your DM. I'd probably go for Yawning Portal. I'd probably go for Yawning Portal. Uh, so if you do have a suggestion for a character, let's see. Um, uh, have a roll, uh, Owen asks, great idea, are you min-maxing or just making interesting characters? Um, just interesting characters, really. Characters, nothing which is too bad, though. <laughs> Sorry if I that. Uh, so we got first one in for Downlo Otaku wants a Tiefling Barbarian. Alright, I know Downlo's a newer, uh, Dungeon Master player. Uh, so let's talk about making a Tiefling Barbarian. I'd say, I'd say Yawning Portal. Volo's Guide is good though. It depends how many like player options you want. I, I, I've been enjoying Yawning Portal a lot recently. Um, so let me just make a note of what character we're creating because I imagine there'll be a fair few requests coming in on the Twitters in a little bit. So Tiefling Barbarian. Let's, let's actually go through this quite simply I guess on uh, orcpub.com. The website I'm using orcpub.com uh, also, a couple of other websites that I might use is roll20.net forward slash compendium uh, forward slash D&D 5e. Uh, I'll link this here in the chat as well. It's another really useful tool for just finding all of the rules in the SRD. And if you buy Volo's Guide to Monsters on Roll20, you also get the Roll uh, Volo's Guide compendium on there, which is super useful. Uh, let's find... We don't know the name. We'll let uh, Download come up with that. Uh, this is Download... Taku, who's going to be playing this one. Male, we'll go with that. Uh, all of this stuff is already filled out for us. What level are we going for? Level 1, so we'll have 0. Uh, what is it? A tiefling? So, this is basically cheating. Um, it's so nice, man. Orc Pub just feels like cheating all the time because you can just click on these things. They fill a lot of the stuff out for you. Uh, we'll go with... Which do we want? Do we want Battle Rager, Berserker, or Totem Warrior? You guys decide. I'm personally going towards Totem Warrior, but I could do either of these. What do you guys want? I'll set this at level one as well, uh, for easy for easiness. Um, and in terms of background, that's something we'd look at as well. But what path? What primal path should we go down? Totes, Totes my goats. No, I want say Ninja S character, human variant. On the list. It's not how you spell list. Let's see what you guys are saying. Totem. Totem seems interesting. Alright, cool. Let's do it. Parkland Totem Warrior. OP OP. We've got Barbarian, Tiefling, Sub Race. We don't need. Uh, alignment. There is no. Nothing that we can't do. <laughs> we'll be a. I don't know. A lawful evil uh, Tiefling. I mean, that could, you can change it anytime that you want, don't we? Uh, background, what kind of background do you guys want? We've got Acolyte, Charlatan, City Watch, Clan Crafter, Cloistered Scholar, 
courtier, criminal, entertainer, faction agent, far traveler, folk hero, gildars, and hermit. Inheritor, knight of the order, mercenary veteran, noble, outlander, sage, sailor, soldier, urban bounty hunter, urchin, Ufgart, tribe member, and water davian noble. You have to pick one alignment, I know, fuck me. God damn it. Um, give me some ideas for backgrounds, and you can, uh, let's re- uh, let's re-roll our hit points just so we roll them. Oh, we can't re-roll them at level one, that doesn't make sense. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for point buy, I guess. Let's do some point buy. Bounty hunter. What's up, Mr. Ghost? Sailor bounty. I like the idea of bounty hunter, actually. Is there a bounty hunter? Uh, there was an urban bounty hunter, wasn't there? Yeah. Let's go urban bounty hunter. That's pretty cool. A tiefling barbarian who's an urban bounty hunter. That sounds pretty sweet. I'm liking that. Okay. Uh, let's go on. So, we'll do point buy for this. We're a barbarian, so we want to be maxing our con and strength. Uh, so let's... Let's go with that. Um, we also get plus two bonus to our charisma, seeing as we're a tiefling, so that's useful. Let's bump our con up and let's start going with our strength as well. Dex is always useful. Eh, we we're not too worried about intelligence, you know. Embrace the bad rolls. I can roll it. I, like, I do prefer to roll. We'll go for a con-based build. All right, we'll, we'll build it. We'll build it. We're not too... Uh, we're worried about wisdom a little bit. I mean, I like having a plus... Yeah, nine same as ten. Typically the opposite of urban. No, not really. And barbarians, whatever you you want it to be, you know. Uh, so we've got fifteen con, fifteen strength. We've got twelve in dex, and then ten nine nine is pretty low. Alignment changed. BS magic. <laughs> uh, I don't have enough points for strength or con, so I guess we could bump up dex one more. 14. I'm currently using a program known as orcpub.com. Um, I guess we don't want to be too dumb. <laughs> we'll be dumb, but we'll be wise-ish. We'll be wise-ish. So then we're really heavily built out. We're decked out for combat. We're decked out for combat. We've got saves and strength and cons, so that makes sense, better seeing as we've got the plus uh, into uh, strength and con there. Skills. We get to choose two from animal handling, athletics, intimidation, nature, and perception. I'm thinking, I'm going to go with intimidation and you guys pick the next one. So we'll pick one each. Who's more or less intu intuition? Yeah, it's pretty much like no one. No one, what's going on, you know? Why 15 strength and 15 con, or 16 strength and 14 con? Well, explain this to our noobs. Uh, we talked about this last week on the ability score. I'll, I'll bring it up. I'll bring up ability score modifiers. 5e. Let's find it here. Yeah. Uh, our ability score modifier table, does that show it there? Uh, not quite. Let's bring it into picture a little bit more. Basically... When you have, uh, you know, different different scores, they give you different modifiers. 16 in one, they give you a plus three in one, and a 14 in two. I just prefer to go to the average 15 in both. And then when we get our ability uh, modifier level up at level four, uh, then we get to put one point in two, so then they both go up to 16 at fourth level. So, um, whereas if the other way, only one of them goes to the fourth level. So, thinking ahead a little bit, I guess. Um, let's go back to this. Our stats there. What, what other skill did you guys choose? Let me go back in the chat. Um, animal handling because big heart. Oh, that's lovely. Big heart. Yeah, also the, 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 the cap is at 15 on point by, right? But, I mean, I could roll them. And then they'd be super high. Uh, the character he rolled last week, I had like an 18 or 16 or 16. It's like ridiculous. It's really good. Um, oh, our two skills there. We're going to have common language. Exotic, infernal, seeing as we are tieflings. Uh, do we get to choose any tools? I guess our uh, um, urban bounty hunter would probably tell us that, right? Vehicles, none yet. <laughs> none yet. Let's see what armor we got. We've got padded armor. Sure, sure. We don't want. We don't need no shields. Let's give a. We'll buy. A, we'll buy a great axe. 
or in Great Club. Barbarians are the soldier or druids are the clerks. Barbarians almost by definition live in the wilderness. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, that doesn't mean that one can't, you know. <laughs> um, great axe range. Let's have a couple of hand. Oh, yeah, we'll have a crossbow. Sure, why not? Let's have a couple of hand axes. Oh, no, hand axe and SRD. Okay, rip. Can't have that. Alright, shield. Don't need a shield. Fuck shields, man. What else do we need? Uh, I'll let Otaku fill out his Arlton's tools, gaming set, musical instruments, and vehicles if he wants them. Bob of Unarmored, you're right, yeah. We'll have it on him in case he wants it. Yeah, strength is at disadvantage. Just fuck armor. We could have it, if in case you want it. Do you want any feats? No. Flaws, personality traits. Now, this is the interesting thing. This is where we go exclamation point create. We find our D&D &D character. A conscientious daughter from a city of shifting sands who is trying to avoid a prophecy. Okay. Uh, nervous about an impending prophecy that the DM can decide upon. DM's discretion. That's what I'll put here. Man, the new create thing is my new favorite thing. Could I still have a shield? Ideals. What do we love? Uh, bring criminals to justice. Mmm. Flaws. Bloodthirsty. Bloodthirsty. It's a little bit bloodthirsty. Never a good thing to be too bloodthirsty. Reliable tiefling monk from a slave market who can't stand silence. <laughs> That's my favorite last bit. Who can't stand silence. What the fuck is this? Okay. Rage. Bloodthirsty rage. Uh, we'll leave the description up to Ataku. Bonds. Uh, sworn to hunt down. I don't know, a certain gang. Criminal. Again, DM's discretion. That's the kind of stuff that I like to play with as a DM. Make up gangs, write into backstories, and have them appear in a game. So, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Can we save this? Where am I saving this? Where's the button? Share. Oh, we need a name as well. We need a name for our tiefling barbarian. I'd love an ogre rogue who's a cl who's clumsy. <laughs> Dave. Dave the. Oh, he's, a, he's an orc, isn't he? It depends. It depends. Depends on the day. There we go, export PDF. Let's click on it on there. Uh, I'd love some mango. We do need a character name still. Name him Rage. Program once again is orcpub.com. Thank you. Name him Rage. Well, I guess, I guess download, you can feel free to name him as well if you want, man. I can, I can leave that blank if you'd prefer. Okay. Egar. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Egar. Egar's a good name. Yeah, you're right. Hamu, Hamu. Uh, we'll call him Egar for now. Egar. Egar the Eggy. Export to PDF. Let's download that. Egar Nilbog. Nilbog. <laughs> Goblin Rage. Alright. Nilbog. I like that name. Uh, let's export that to PDF. We'll save that once again for download. Uh, da child sheets. Download. Attack. There we go. I'll send that to you. See you, my friend. I like it. I like it. And our sheet is made. I mean, you really, you really can make character sheets in like 20 seconds with this. You really. I wonder what the world record is for like the. <laughs> <laughs> the fastest character sheet made. I wonder if it's cheating to have to use orcpub.com, probably, isn't it? If you're a monk, do you have to go lawful or is it open to interpretation in 5e? Uh, well, pretty much all alignment is open to interpretation in 5e, in my opinion. I mean, that's me interpreting, right? But... If you're a monk, then definitely. There are always there are suggestions for the kinds of character, the kind of alignments that um, different types of people would have, but... It's really up to you. Oh man, let's, let's not argue about druids and 
barbarians, guys. We look nerdy enough as it is. It's making us... <laughs> it's making us look even worse. Alright, what else we got? We had a... Ninja-esque character. Okay, let's do a monk. Let's do a monk. Uh, let's... Ooh. There's a character builder preview. Thank you to Stefan Tukoto for following. Welcome in, buddy. I appreciate that. Holy mackerel, there's a new character builder on this? Hello. Let's check this out. Let's check this bad boy. Let me open up the screen just a little bit. I don't think you can see all of this, but I actually... It's looking pretty neat. It's apparently in beta. But these guys have made one. I mean... So here's the thing, D&D uh, &D Beyond doesn't yet have this, right? So this looks kind of cool. We'll see what the features are like, but we'll, we'll take a look at this together, guys. Let's bring that up there. Up there. Alright, chill out, music. So, character name. Oh, this is for Hobbs, right? Player name for Hobbs. Oh my god, what's this? Ability score feeds background. So this tab changes different things in here. Can you export? If you go to print, it gives you the PDF sheet. Okay, cool. That's pretty neat, actually. All right, okay. We'll see what the limitations of this thing are. Um, so this is everything that you can write in yourself. Oh, it just stats everything for you on the right-hand side here. Let me open this up a little bit even more. For you guys, we'll bring that here, just so you can see that there's a ton of stuff going on here. Holy, holy smokes. Okay. There we go. There we go! Well, oh, I thought this was a Morrowind soundtrack for a second, I got really excited. Um, okay, so we've got our Barbarian over here, it does your AC and hit points and stuff for you. Your weapon proficiencies. Alright, let's go. So, we wanted a human. Subrace. Oh my god, okay. Variant. Let's go variant human, it was. Uh, okay, that's complete now. So that goes green when we, when we click on that. We're learning. We're learning. That's our race. Next. Ability scores, feats. Uh, let's dice roll. Uh, let's reroll everything. So you, can, so you can keep re rolling? Okay, okay. We'll go with something like that. Oh, okay, sweet. So you can't actually put the dice rolls into individual ones, but that's kind of interesting. All right, we'll add into Dex plus there because our human variant build, and do we add that to a fifteen, or should we add this to a thirteen? What our strength up one? Okay, that's kind of interesting. You can do standard scores, manual entry. We get a feat as well. Now, I'm liking this builder. Yeah, you know, I've always been complaining no very good character builders. What um what feet should we take? Which feet should we take, guys? You guys you guys decide on this feat for me. We've got actor, alert, athlete, charger, crossbow expert, defensive duelist, dual wielder, dungeon delver, durable, uh, grappler, great weapon master, healer, heavily armored, keen mind, lightly armored, linguist, lucky, mage slayer. All of these. This is I'll link this to you again. Orc pub. What's like there? I think apparently, this is, apparently this is kind of new. Grappler. Oh man, we could do a grappling build. Uh, I don't know how good this is on mobile, so someone check out that link for me on mobile and tell me if it, it works or if it's just a, a little bit shit on mobile. We're making characters right now, Midas. And uh, we're, we're checking out this new character creator on Orc Pub to, uh, to do it. <laughs> we'll fucking go for Grappler then. So that's complete, so that goes green. Oh, we still got something to choose? Subrace. Ah, we'll choose color shape. So that goes green. So there's a little tab here. Where it says two here. Um Oh mobile. I thought you were talking about <laughs> fucking hell, okay. You on mobile? Alright. I'll go for mobile. That makes sense. Uh so you see there's two on here, there are two things that we need to do when you've done everything, it's it just clears out for you. The grapple ninja. I like that. Uh, I don't know how to do alignments, so 
Lawful neutral, fuck me. That's like the most cop out you can go when it comes to alignment, really, isn't it? Uh, background. What background do you want, man? Man, you can do this yourself with this tool. This is. You don't need. You don't need no man to do this for you. Tablet for all twenty. If you do phone roll twenty, is crap. Neutral good. Okay. Spy would be cool. Spy would be cool. Hmm. Charlatan works as well. A hermit, someone who's like, you know, lived all his life in a monastery. That could be kind of sweet. I can see that working. Spy, okay, let's go spy. Alright, spies, I like it. Next, class. Don't want a barbarian, that much is obvious. Monk. Alright, sweet. Does our hit points and recalculates everything for us. The grappling ninja spy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, spells next. Proficiencies, okay. We should take acrobatics, right? We're a fucking monk. You kind of got to. You got two remaining on that. Way of the shadow. I don't know if we get to choose at this level. We might be able to level them up soon. You can browser save. Oh, that's cool. Um, acrobatics. We've got two other proficiencies to take. Then we've got a language to take as well, holy mackerel. And then artisan's tools and gaming. So, okay, so let's do two more skill proficiencies. Deception. 007. Bond. Will Bond. Ha. Jones. Will Jones. Ha. Deception. Yeah, let's go deception. Oh, wait. Yeah, we already have we already have proficiency in uh, deception, apparently. Which is sweet, because we're a fucking scumbag already. <laughs> <laughs> Um, performance could be useful. Persuasion's always good. You can never go wrong with perception as well. The amount of times... I, I imagine I must have been asked to roll a perception check uh, ten times more than I've been asked to roll any other thing. Yeah, we can't take that. We'll take, uh... We'll take a perception then, seeing as it's so useful. And, uh... I don't know, it depends how, like, um... Religious you want to be. You could take a religion. Slight of hands also useful. Investigation. Can't go wrong investigating ship. Persuasion. Alright. Perception and persuasion. Languages. Uh, we got Abyssal, Celestial, Deep Speech, Draconic, Dwarvish, Elvish, Giant, Gnomish, Goblin, Halfling, Invernal, Orc, Primordial, Sylvan, Undercommon. Ting! Ting! <laughs> uh, we take music instruments. A dragon. We've got to take Dragon Chess, man. Dragon Chess is the shit. It's the best game. <laughs> Backpacks, drum, dulcimer. Okay, let's right, this, this pick our language first of all. What language do we want to speak? Yeah, just depend on the game, I guess. I mean, you can always change these around. Um, should be should be easy enough to change them around. Grapple persuasion. We didn't we didn't take grapple in the end. We ended up taking mobile. We're a human, so I mean, always is good. Draconic could be useful. Halfling. I didn't even know halflings had their own language. I'm dumb. I don't know. Dwarvish. Yeah, everyone likes a dwarf. And now we need to choose... Okay, this is a real choice here. Bagpipes, drum, dulcimer, flute, horn, lute, lyre, pan flute, shawm. What the fuck is a shawm? And viol. Those varied voices, I forced myself to write this damn, damn, damn paper. Afternoon, Lauren. You'll get it done. You'll get it done, lassie. Fear not. Ogre. Bagpipes. Was there ever any other option but bagpipes? Let's, let's be honest with ourselves, guys. Was there any other option other than bagpipes? So, horn. Alright, you wanna play the horn? Alright, we'll go horn. Hobbs has got the horn. Alright, then we get equipment. Holy macro. Okay, we get weapons to add. What kind of weapon should we, should we wield? Armor, pretty didn't need any, right? Equipment, fuck. Cold piece is 15. Uh, let's take a Dungeoneer's pack. And, uh, I know, a short sword. Could be useful. Sean is a medieval clarinet thing. It's just just your mate, Sean. What does Sean Mendez come up when I type in Sean rather than the medieval clarinet instrument? God damn it. Bongo, bongo. 
A shome. Oh, I thought it was actually spelled Sean. Oh, I, I typed in Sean rather than Shorm. That's probably why. Okay. <laughs> Think of Flute Other Characters Smoked Album. Okay. <laughs> it's not like an oboe. We have no idea what this is. Still Dawn, what's this? Uh, as a character creator on Old Pub that I've just discovered, now I'm now I'm taking a look at it and making characters for you guys. Hmm. We'll pick a weapon. We got a short sword already, so fucking. Uh, what's a good weapon? The sickle, the hammer and sickle. I need a light weapon. Oh, like a rapier could be good, maybe. Rapier's light, right? Sure. We should add short sword in in case we haven't already. Sure. Don't have any magic weapons. Equipment. Feel free to add anything into list that you want. Just your character sheet. Uh, other magic items we don't have. We've done our packs and our starting equipment. Browser save. Next. Uh, that's it other than character name. The socialist samurai. <laughs> We must seize the memes of production. What's, what should we call this character? We've got a fucking human monk. Human Kalashite or Kal Kalshite. No, it's Kalashite monk. Isn't bagpipe a weapon? It's in some cases. Some type of throwing weapon. We've got dart. Is that in the dagger? I know. Sling. Something like that could be useful. What's up, being? How you doing, man? How, go how goes the roads? We need a name. Name him Hobbs. Okay. Player name Hobbs. Character name Hobbs. I like it. Hey, you can feel free to fill in his, uh, his all his backstory and stuff like that, depending on your uh, game. Let's print this one off. Should have our character sheet here. Dual scimitars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now we've got our character sheet all filled out here. Wow, that was easy. Uh, let's call this character sheets. Hobbs, I'll send this to you after the uh, the stream if you want it. Um, nice. That again fills it out really nicely for you. The science these days, my friends. The science going on these days. Absolutely incredible. Uh, let's see. Did we have any... Uh, do we have any other suggestions? Uh, double, double trouble. Any... Uh, it's an obo ancestor. <laughs> the ancestor, my, the ancestor of my ancestors. Uh, any other suggestions for another character that we should make? Let's reset. You can also make random ones as well. If you click random, it randomizes your level, class, and race. <laughs> What's up, Bailey? Path of the Totem Warrior. Human Mulan. A Mulan human is a thing in D&D? Is it really? <laughs> what else we get? Elf Barbarian. I wish this picture would change for like who they are. That'd be nice. Yep. Thanks here, buddy. My D&D trying to kill me. Hit me with inflict wounds and magic missile. Let's see what else we get. Human barbarian level 17. They're all fucking Mulan humans. What's going on? A monk? Just did a monk, Haley. There you go. Where is it? Lost a monk. Okay, well, I just had a monk. There we go. Level 1 monk. Yes, yes it is, my friends. <laughs> I'll drop the link again. I, I need to have a command, this thing has so much. Uh, tiefling wizard? Man, I don't get Mulan tieflings, what the fuck? Forest gnome fighter. <laughs> back in my day. Back in my day! We used to have to etch into the walls with our fingers. An ogre rogue. I'm already doing PHP stuff and this doesn't let me do anything which isn't other devil and PHP, unfortunately. Human sorcerer? We do human sorcerer. Let's like... Let's, let's time this. Let's just see how quickly this can be done. I, I kind of want to know. How do I count up? Just zero, zero. Let's set a world record. And let's see if this even works. Let me add in text real quick. What's up, Nogabut? Does that work? Oh, wait, no, that's dumb. Let me type it in. God damn it. Okay. Alright, let's just. We're now setting the world record 
for the fastest ever co- <laughs> This is a note by no means official. The fastest ever Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition character ever made. Ever. This is going in Guinness. We will now begin in three, two, one, go. Wait, I should reset it first of all, so it's fair. Okay, now it's fair. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, gnome, rock gnome. Next, uh, rival. Yeah, next background chaotic fucking yeah charlatan. Next class. Next spells. Next. Oh god, we picked a good class right there, my friends. Next. Weapons next. Oh wait, we, we have one more to add. God damn it, well, oh, and another one. Fuck. Let's go. Let's go. The clock's against us. Ah, oh, misclick. No, the rookie. Magic, oh, we don't have any magic weapons. Fuck. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> mistakes, mistakes. No magic items. Don't have any treasures. Pick a Dungeoneer's pack. Any simple weapon. Fuck, and now I have to click another simple weapon. Next. Print. And we're stopping the clock. Ah. Now. One minute and nine seconds. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The fastest ever Dungeons and Dragons character sheet ever made in the history of Dungeons and Dragons. One minute, nine seconds. Yes. <laughs> We now the world record order for the fastest ever. Can we beat it? That's the question. <laughs> Worst character ever made. Monk. So let's see what we actually made. This I, I think I could beat that time. I think I could beat that time. Sixty nine seconds. Hey. There's a level one monk, rock gnome, charlatan, chaotic good, twelve strength. <laughs> Nine decks. We're a monk with nine dexterity. <laughs> Sixteen constitution. Okay, we're rock gnomes, so we get extra, right? Intelligence of fourteen. Thirteen wisdom. Eleven charisma. AC of ten. Initiative minus one. Eleven hit points. We have dark vision, man. We have a great axe wielding, <laughs> great axe wielding charlatan fucking rock gnome. <laughs> Holy shit. We have daggers though. They just do minus one damage. <laughs> I'm saving this shit. Character sheet. World record. One. You had to be good at what you are, that's true, yeah. Yeah. Uh setting and we'll change the title. Setting the world record for the fastest character sheet. <laughs> Shortest lifespan. Yeah, maybe that's a new... Maybe that's a new uh, record that I hold as well. I might hold multiple world records for all I know. The 10 AC monk. <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm good to... I feel like... I feel like 1 minute and 9 seconds. I misclicked a lot in that. That's... <laughs> they can't even... Wait, that's right. He's, a, he's small, so he can't even... He can't even hold it properly. Um... Okay. So we mis... Let's see where we misclicked. We misclicked, um, we don't even need to click reroll, because they roll it for us. We don't even need that. Class, class was good. We made the correct decision in not picking a spellcasting class, because then we can just pick, uh, skip this tap. We made a big mistake in, um, magic items. That's where we went wrong. This, this was the killer, man. This was the absolute killer. And then we made the next mistake in not choosing... Uh, just short sword. So, so I believe I believe this next run we will absolutely nail. We're gonna get uh, the, the goal for is under a minute. I want to have create a character in under a minute, and then I want to try one in real life. No, I'm not gonna actually write down a character sheet and try and build a world record. But there you go. Also, it's worth noting there is no actual world record, believe it or not, for this. Let's reset the timer. All right, so everything is reset. We're back to our barbarian. Um, okay. Under a minute. <laughs> Yon for me zoo. <laughs> okay. Rip. Okay, uh let's let's do it. Okay, so we're starting the 
We need like um, we need uh, what's that song that da 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 I can just play it in the background. You just sing it a cappella if you if you'd prefer. Um, sarcastic owl productions. Just subscribe to Twitch Prime. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. A gentleman and a scholar. Throw some drinks and chaff, sarcastic owl. There we go. I think they were digging all day. Alright. Could be a magical weightless gray axe, that's true, if I'd picked magical weapon. Alright, let's, let's do this. Whew. I'm about to make history. Never before in Dungeons and Dragons has this ever been done. No one thought it was possible. They said I couldn't do it. They said you couldn't make a character in under one minute, well. Well, guess what? I'm gonna do it. Let's make history. Three, two, one, go! Alright, time started. We're gonna. Oh, wait, no, we need to reset. Back to the race. Oh, we need to pick a Dragonborn Draconic Ancestry. That was a mistake. Ability scores we don't need. They've already been rolled for it. We're gonna pick Cleric Neutral. Criminal done next. Class, we're gonna pick a Fighter. No, oh, no, we need to pick a Fighting Star. That was a mistake. Spells skip, good. Two proficiencies, excellent. Criminal, we're gonna pick Dice Set for that. And equipment is going to be a crossbow. Uh, we're going to wear a chainmail, and we're going to pick light crossbow. We're going to pick lever armor, dungeoneer's pack, martial weapon, and shield, uh, glaive, uh, browse save print, and stop the clock. Forty seconds. <laughs> yes. Forty seconds. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh man, let's actually look at this sheet. Like, my favorite part of this is looking at what monstrosity I've actually made from this character sheet. Man. Strength of 17. What the hell? We're a Dragonborn fighter with 17 strength. Now do a wizard under one minute. Yeah, fuck that, man. Strength of 17, Dex of 14, Constitution of 13, Intelligence of 12, Wisdom of 10, Charisma of 9. Look at those, look at our roll, man. And they put him in, like, that's the best attribute as well. Damn. Damn, Daniel. 18 AC, we got that, we got that chainmail armor, yeah, that was a good choice. Well, Chaotic Good Criminal, Dragonborn Fighter. Like, this is a character you could actually play. It's a character you could actually play. And we've got Acid as well. It's actually playable. Fuck yeah. Character sheet. World record. 40 seconds. Mm. Gonna blow this up. <laughs> Those stats though. Man, that was impressive. Man, this character sheet is awesome. I wonder if it's actually quicker on the Orc Pub website just to do it. Probably not, right? It looks like more things re require clicking, but hey. That was pretty fun. How a chaotic good criminal. Yeah, a Robin Hood, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I gotta take... I now have to pick take a picture for Twitter so I can roll over all of my my enemies. My arch nemesis. My nemesis. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. That was cool. Alright, does anyone else want me to... This is Orc Pub. Yep, there's a link again. I should make a command for that. Um, if you have any other uh, characters that you'd like me to create, then feel free. I will uh, be taking some... Uh, taking commissions. Taking... Um, Suggestions for a character to make. Yeah, the the fighter he passed school in forty seconds, man. In forty seconds, he just fucking nailed it. That's impressive. Um, I'm lying, and we're gonna troll Twitter. Setting the world record for the fastest D and D character ever made. 
just got 40 seconds. <laughs> oh man, someone's gonna watch this and be like, oh my god, he's being serious. Okay, there we go. Circle of Land Druid. A half-orc druid. Okay. A half-orc circle of the land druid. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's reset. Uh, let's go back to our race. Half-orc. Half-orc druids are uh, ones that I like, actually. I like that combination. That's, uh... Tell d d Beyond to beat that, yeah. I should tweet at d d Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> they, they replied to my last tweet, so you never know. <laughs> Here's my uh, my tweet, by the way, guys. Um, should we roll it or should we point? Let's point by it. Alright, so I guess we're looking for... Um, you want high charisma, okay. Find this working. Oh, okay. High, you want to max out charisma on a half orc circle of the land druid. I like it. We can't go any higher than 15 on manual point by, so there's that. We also want a high wisdom, right? So put 15 at high wisdom. But a bit in dex. We don't need to be clever. Well, I guess you want to be a little bit clever, right? You don't want to be fucking dumb to be a, uh, a druid. Don't need, We don't need that strength in that dex. What's that for? That's basically useless, I've heard. So we don't need any of that. Um, cold halfling fighter from the North Plains is a bad gambling problem. I'm, I'm, I currently just set the world record uh, for the fastest D and D character to be made at forty seconds. So kind of a big deal. What can I say? I'm Will Jones from Encounter Roleplay, D and D sex icon. It's what I do. Current world record. Now, now all of our, all of our enemies will weep when they know. <laughs> For they will know that we hold the title, my friends. Do we get some kind of prize for 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 this? Is there some kind of I don't know official ceremony I should be going to, or some medal that I should be given? I kind of feel like I should. Um, I have three more points. I guess we'll start out into a little bit more. So we've got 10, 10, 9, 14, 15, 15. That's an interesting character. That's an interesting character. Uh, the character is a half-orc um, circle of the land druid. Uh, I'm taking chat suggestions and making them. Stoic elf druid from the Assassin's Guild who doesn't understand the concept of politeness. Well, he is an assassin. So. All right, let's see what ability scores we can take. Oh, we'll take. Uh, we're we're a druid, right? So we can be lawful good, maybe. I don't. I don't. Or maybe just neutral because you're a druid. Or maybe that's what druids are. I don't know. I don't like alignment. Um, background. Hmm, what background should we choose for a half-orc druid who's very intelligent and wise, but no... No strength dex or con. <laughs> the record-holding character... Let me see. Is a dragonborn fighter criminal. Is the level. It's a world record-holding character. Well, not named. I wonder if I have to name it for it to count. I don't think so, right? Nah, fucking hermit. Hermit. Okay, two hermits. Two hermits in chat. I see two hermits. Oh. All right, maybe maybe he's in. He's maybe he's in dream. He's lawful good. We want to choose druid. We get to choose spells of this as well. Let's let's make it like a level five druid. They get a bit more interesting at this point. Ooh, we can roll. Can we roll these? What am I doing? Why would I have 15? Let's just take average. Oh, I see. You can add them in there. I thought it would hit die for some reason. Okay, let's just take the average 5. Circle of the land. The nicest unspeakable circle druid there is. Yes. I like it. Who of you goblins doesn't understand alignment in it? Ah. Uh, guilty. 
Land. What land type should we go? I'm thinking a. I mean a swamp druid. Maybe a swamp druid. From swamps. A backstory for druid orc. Yeah. How's, how's an orc ever become a druid? I wonder. He rebelled from his parents. Wanted him to be a raider and a pillager. An underdog. An underdog. Half orc. Druid. Hmm. Maybe he looks after Myconids. I like it. He's got like a mushroom Myconid farm farmer druid. <laughs> From them beholders and shit. What did we pick here? Ability scribe rubens. Oh. Oh yeah, we're level five now, so we get our ability scribe improvement. Yeah, we go. That's what I was talking about before. 15 goes up to 16. A city druid. He's just a city boy. Oh, we can't choose city. Well, I guess this will do. Underdark. Maybe he's an underdark city druid, you know? Maybe that's what he's into. Casual nerdiness. Thanks for following, buddy. There you go. Appreciate it. Somebody died right in front of him and he couldn't save them, so he became a druid wanting to be able to save his next family. I like it. His next family being nature. I was gonna be a farmer and I took a hoe to the scrot. <laughs> Alright, next. Let's do our spells. This is fun. Alright, we gotta choose. We've gotta choose druid. Ah. Fawn whip. Because you gotta be whipping. You gotta be whipping. And then we nay-nay. <laughs> Vineyard Druid. Grapes of Wrath. <laughs> City Druid, the ability to transform into a were pigeon. That is ambitious. Very ambitious. Form Whip is always essential. Poison Spray is good. Whip them hoes, you farmer. Goat brain, thanks for following my man, and Akisa, thank you guys for joining me. Um. Flames make sense? Sure. Produce flame, you're only under dark, you want to be able to see. Uh, half orcs have um, dark vision, right? So, eh, still useful. Um, depends how, how attacky do we want our half orc druid to be? And how, like, peace borrowed we want him to be. Cool lightning. <laughs> yeast druid, because moonshine. Ah, yes. The druid of yeast. <laughs> Mending's useful, guidance useful. Druidcraft's useful. I felt like it. Make him healy. Mending could be useful. Resistance. Resistance is uh, buffy, I guess. Old druid would be attacky. Go on Druidcraft. Alright, we got Druidcraft. We'll take resistance. So we got like two attack, two... Two attack, two sort of buff. Alright. That'll do. Proficiency is animal handling. We're a fucking Druid. We want to handle some animals. Nature. We're a fucking Druid. We want to fucking nature some animals. Uh, what else we got? Languages. Where is Unicorn? Ah, yes. Now we speak Unicorn. Which is, if you were, if you were interested, Sylvan. Or as I like to call it, Unicorn language. Because who doesn't want to fucking talk to unicorns? Exactly. Equipment. Like in passive aggressive? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what he is. We got, we got passive spells, we got two aggressive spells, he's passive aggressive. Equipment. I don't know. A flailing druid. Wait, where is where is where is the hoe? Why can't we wield a hoe? Why can't we be a f a farmer half or druid like I want to be? Hmm. Dual wielding scimitars. He speaks scrotum. <laughs> Me too. Me too. He just has a fucking club on him. Do you guys say halberd or halbeard? <laughs> Trident. 
Whip. Oh, it's gonna be whip. What did I see this before? It has to be whip. First he whips, and then he speaks unicorn, and then he nenes. Easy. <laughs> Dual wheeled hose. <laughs> it's just fucking hose. Oh man. I like whip. I like whip. Okay. Armor. Yeah, you can wear leather, but we can't wear any metal armor, right? Because we're a druid, so. He has fawn whip already. It's true. It is true. Maybe he just like powers up the fawn whip with his with his whip, you know. And a net for catching animals in. You'd say halberd. Really, I'd say halberd. Interesting. Whose favorite animal is a flail sn Flail snails are fucking lit, man. They don't get used enough. I tried to convince Phil to use one last week. Mango is the fruit of the gods, my friends. I'm gonna stop eating it because it's gonna be sad of me. Doesn't have any friends because he can't be friends with unicorns. <laughs> well, maybe maybe he doesn't have any friends because he's trying to be friends with unicorns, you know? He should have a pitchfork. I wish we could have pitchfork. Can we add in homebrew? I can't add anything on my own. It's sad. He uses his beard to whip. We've got leather armor. We've got case map or scroll, cloves, herbalism kit, explorer's pack, winter blanket, notes from studies. He's obviously got bagpipes. Let's be honest. And he has a thousand ball bearings. Can I add more than a thousand, please? Thank you. Thousand six. Uh, a bag of sand is essential for almost any adventurer. Where's overhauls? I, I agree, Muslim man. I just wanted to be able to write it in here. Glass blowers tools, tempting, tempting. Jugs, tempting. Manacles, hello. Yeah, staff is pitchfork. All right, we'll have our our whip or our trident. We'll have trident. It's got three prongs to it, right? He should be a naturist. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right. What did I think of this before? No leather armor. Out of here. <laughs> no other magic items. Five gold pieces. Druidic focus. Uh, priest. Manacles make him kinky. <laughs> Is that how that works? Owning manacles makes you kinky. Yeah, the pitchforks of the sea. Yeah, very well put, dragon. Very well put, my friend. Uh, priest's pack. I'm feeling like he's maybe an evangelical farmer. Um, melee weapon. Skimitars, maybe. I played RuneScape. They're called Skimitars, in case you're wondering. I don't need one. We've, we've already got our weapons, right? Do we want a sprig of mistletoe, a totem, a wooden staff, or a yew wand? I'm feeling wand or mistletoe here, because then we can we can kiss our unicorns underneath the mistletoe. <laughs> he throws so a vegan a little <laughs> throws cats at people, keeps a sack on his back. Yeah, yeah, I like it. They're called skimmies. Skimmies, bro. Okay. I had a, uh, a a friend of mine, Keith. He's a uh, he's actually a full time um, RuneScape streamer. Uh, I played D and D with him, but he he seriously called uh, scimitars scimitars once, and I've never stopped ripping him for it. So <laughs> <laughs> now we need to write mistletoe to hold above people. Well, I need to go back for my mistletoe. There we go. All right, we'll go for mistletoe. Now we need to write our backstory, our in depth character analysis. A player name is Will. D and D sex icon. Uh, we're gonna be. Um, that's just what people refer to me as on the internet. It's, it's weird. Uh, age. Um, well, we're hermited. How long have we been hermited for? I'm thinking either twelve. Or, like, 80. There's kind of no in-between for me. Sex. 
Can we try making characters for weird environments next like underwater? Yeah, yeah, let's experiment with, with character creation. I like it. I like it. Underwater squad. Uh, six. Uh, it's 2017. Uh, height. 17, of course. 80. Go, 80. Half orcs can live for quite a while, right? How long do half orcs live for quite a while? I don't know. 80 and half orc years. It's like dog years. Uh, height. 311, maybe. Weight. I like really podgy. <laughs> 32. 32 is a nice round number. Maybe it should be. Hair color. Oh, he's 80, so like graying. Not long anything. Okay, maybe that's. Let me think of someone else. We'll give him. We'll give him. Emerald. Emerald eyes. I used to. Oh man. When I was a uh, when I was a kid, I went to a school with a girl called Jade. Jade, man. What was that all about? Jade. Emerald. R I guess Ruby's the name, right? Hmm. Can wait to four clerics of the apocalypse. That'd be pretty cool. They reach manhood at 14. Mm. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper beard. I like it. Mm. Skin color. Greenish. <laughs> so uh, so our ha half orc is actually quite old. So we're 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 like the old generation of farmers. Like he's like the Lenny. Of D and D, it's Lenny. He's he. This is, this is Lenny. When he's actually gone to live on his farm, and he's got the rabbits and Alpha Alpha, and it's, wow. Yeah. Uh, personality traits. Uh, loves his rabbits and unicorns. Is it Lenny? I don't remember. Something like that. Ideals. That's tough, man. That's tough. He's a Hugh Hefner of D&D. Greenish gray. Okay, like gray green. Loves his unicorn. <laughs> Something tells me that's a thing. You know? Something worrying tells me that's real. Um... Image URL. I need to write his backstory. We'll, we'll work on his traits. I'll make a. I'll make a command. I, I, I'm giving in. I've asked many times. Or slash me orc pub character gen generator. Exclamation point orc pub will be uh, when when folks ask for seeing a couple more. He's become, ah, oh, he's become jaded in his old age. Periodic dementia. He's a ra he's a racist because everyone hates our folks. You know, uh, flaws, a bit racist. What's up, Gilly Spark? What's up, J man? The first. <laughs> that's like his. Can we have like a mantra? Bonds. This is my bond. The first thing my enemies will see. Is the tip of my beard and the uh, the first thing they will feel is the crack of my whip upon their buttocks. I like it. Or can then just go Rambo. <laughs> I like it. Ho, 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 ho. A muscle wizard. That could be quite a fun build. I like the idea of doing an underwater, underwater one. A bit racist. Stuck in the past. But hey. He's kinda old. It's like, Grandad, you can't say that anymore. But, you know. You can't, like, call him out on it. Because it's awkward. Faction name. So does he have his own faction of uh, the like the farmers? Um, 
I don't know, Farmers Union, something like that. Is he racist against humans or orcs? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he doesn't know. Is it like a Farmers Union thing I can actually link to? <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> oh man, it's actually a JPEG. Of course there is. Kick your weapon, people. Both. Alright, this is where... This is where we're getting into the... That should be his catchphrase here. Back in my day. Yeah, ideals. Uh, this is Orc Pub. There we go. Back in my day, everything was better. Every fig. Every fig I had was tastier than the next. Everything is better. A uh, bit of a loner. Yeah, a lonter. Young homies get off me lawn. Lemmy. Lemmy. <laughs> we'll call him Lemmy. <laughs> Alright, description and backstory. Creating an organ orc pub, what can I say? Pub of orcs, man. Um, so, Lemmy. Let's start with Lemmy's origin story. Because we've got to take this kind of seriously. Origin story. Lemmy first began life. Where would he live? Did he live in a village? Did he live in a big city? Did he live with like some hippie parents who totally screwed him up for the rest of his life? What? What's What's Lemmy's story? You know, who hurt Lemmy? What What went wrong for him? Founder of Farmers United, only member. Heritage Farm remembers, old from birth. We're going like <laughs> Benjamin Button. He's actually two years old, but then we first began life. Kept him in a closet. <laughs> because they always remember. Ban life on in in Pepperidge Bridge Farm. Uh he was unique amongst his people. Because he was born with a beard. I should submit this character to a Roll20 game and, and see if they let me in. After play. <laughs> I want to play Lemmy. <laughs> Jarl Slade escaped to live in the Underdark alone. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mother she been great, but she got a double hate community. Yeah. Yeah. He was born with a beard. His father was an orc. But his mother. was a human. She was not accepted in the community. This guy again, tragic. In the community. And the orcs, I like it, tried to sell Lemmy and his mother into slavery. Lemmy used the power of his pointy... Some of these don't go through. Use the power of his pointy beard to cut down his attackers and escaped into the Underdark. Yeah. I like it. So both his parents were orcs, but he turned out to be a half orc. <laughs> the power of beard magic. Yeah. They were lost. But at least, they were not alone. It's fucking auto-correcting all these things, not alone. They had each other. They had Lemmy's beard. While he did not understand the true power. Also, how funny would it be if he's like a level 20 character? <laughs> He did not understand the true power of his beard. Lemmy knew that he was starting to grow hair in a place where there had always been hair. His beard 
was growing. His mother, beardless. Did not survive too long in the depths, perilous depths of the Underdark. Then he was cool with it. He had his beard, and so he kept going. He would be better. He would be stronger. He would be beardier. This is, um. <sighs> this is really, uh. hitting home for me. Um. This is just very close to my own personal story which you know I don't I don't talk about too much personal stuff but I mean just just thinking about an Emmy story is just very you know I feel like I can relate to him on multiple levels and um that maybe we are kindred spirits. Um, I, I don't want to get you guys down because it's, as you can see, my own beard was was cut off. Um, I shaved it. Sure, uh, but but Lemmy didn't have that choice, you know, and that's why I want to keep fighting for people like Lemmy who don't have that choice, like me. Um, Yeah, just just keep up the good fight, guys. All right, so Lemmy, uh, he would be better. Um, he started a farm. He started his very little role twenty D and T game. <laughs> What's the world record? Uh, the world record for the fastest ever character ever made in the history of Dungeons and Dragons ever is forty seconds. Press F, press F. F for Lemmy, man. Uh, he started a farm in the Underdark. Which quickly grew... Into... A whole union. He's lived there ever since. Training his beard. Knowing that it's... Meant for something greater. I don't know. Farming beets. For <laughs> something greater. Does Lemmy even know what he's farming? <laughs> he just knows that he is farming. A beard farm. <laughs> Holy shit. Beardism was born that day. Yeah. That's, uh, the safe. Let's find Lemmy's character sheet here. Does the image? Does it, yes, the image is included. <laughs> the farmer, farmer's union and his faction is included. <laughs> Let me. The level five druid half orc, neutral good hermit. Le, ten strength, ten dex, nine con, fourteen intelligence, sixteen wisdom, sixteen charisma. Wow. AC of 10, speed of 30. This is some impressive stuff. <laughs> Eight year old half orc with emerald eyes, grey green skin, and a salt and pepper beard. This is origin story, it's all here. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I like it. I like it. Okay, this is good. Um. Does not beat farm by any other name, not grow as sweet indeed. <laughs> indeed, let me save Lemmy. Character sheet. Lemmy. 
Got this one saved on file now. I might upload him to the website in case you guys are uh, are interested in, in using uh, Remy. Sorry, not Remy, Lemmy. Fuck me. All right, next one we're going to create. I like this idea. We've got him saved, don't worry. Is uh, a I like the idea of a muscle wizard um, in 5th edition. Something I haven't tried to do. So, I think muscle wizard want to go down like a, a strength build. Humans have a lot of options for strength, but half orc. Half orc makes us strong. Constitutional. Dwarf? A dwarf would be good as well. Even a gnome. Even a gnome. We just did a half orc, so I'm thinking maybe not half orc. Maybe dwarf? Maybe a dwarf muscle wizard? Do gnome? This character session tonight or next couple of days. Uh, I don't know when Lemmy will be played. I have to say. Only multi classes to fight a barbarian. Muscle wizard with sub 10 in, please. No muscle wizard. Dwarf or gnome? Gnome up. Alright, we'll go with gnome. Uh, and it's rock gnome that gives us a con plus one, right? Let's just see. Does dwarf give us a whiz plus one and. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go mountain dwarf. And I think about it, strength plus two for mountain dwarf. Yeah, that'll be like we want. Well, I want to min max the shit out of this fucking muscle wizard. Sure thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting us a lot. It's got a command exclamation point orc pub. Thanks to Mariah Banita for following. Welcome, Mariah. Thanks for following. He should wear shades. <laughs> I'll put the command in the title as well. Uh, okay, I don't have enough fucking characters. Well, anyway, what's up, Scott Squared? Okay, so we've got our dwarf. Right. Manual entry. Uh, I guess we roll, like, we, we just, like, haul a hell out of rolls until we roll, like, an 18. Oh, I just had 19. Fuck, on strength. <laughs> I guess I could just manual entry, right? But let's get a grind on. This is like this is how douchebags play D and D. They're like, I'm just gonna roll once, and then they roll ten fucking times. Uh, making characters at the moment, Scott Squared. We're trying to build a muscle wizard right now. Nineteen strength, nailed it. See, I just dice rolled. DM. Hashtag play Lemmy. <laughs> Make Lemmy great again, man. All right, this is good. This is good. We got sixteen in con. Oh, we can move those around. Yeah. We want our seven to be an int. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. Next. We what, what what alignment should our fucking muscle wizard be? Lawful good. He punches his enemies. Or maybe he's evil. Maybe he's a bad character. <laughs> he's the wizard who thinks that he's got like super eldritch power but actually doesn't. <laughs> Smeagol live on Lemmy's farm, yeah. Lawful good? Alright. We need... My my current world record is 40. 40 seconds I made a character sheet in. I hold the world record currently, so... Check again this 2017. We need a... We need a background. Gladiator? Gives us acrobatics. We we got a min max so bad on this. What would give us knight? History. We want like he's his fist. Athletics could be good. Soldier. He's a wiz he's a former soldier turned wizard turned muscle wizard. <laughs> Lawful neutral follows the code of muscle wizardry for it's all he knows. <laughs> If he fights, he fires spells out of the muscle, he flexes. <laughs> yeah, we, we'll see what spells we can take here in a second. So we're going... Wizard. <sighs> Level 20. <laughs> take average. Let's go back to our... Ability score improvements. Level 20. We're gonna take ability, we're gonna take ability score improvements every time... Oh, we won't be able to beat a 20 of deck, so we have a 20 in strength. <laughs> we can't go any higher, it's illegal, it's illegal. 
Ah. See, that's that's illegal, Hallery. If I did it completely legally. <laughs> Exclamation point orc pub Helder. Can't go any higher than 20. Well, at least we get the 20 of that. Then we can take feats. Or then we could just bump up our con, I guess. We could just bump up con. So we're like super tanky. Oh, that's not con. Go back here. Until we get to 20 con. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then the rest we can take feats. So that's two abilities going improvements, right? That's nice, free. <laughs> oh, we need to add in the points now. I'll write it in there. Okay. Alright, so that's two. Then we'll take feats. Last three. So we can take, like, grappling feats and, like, tavern brawler feats, maybe? Okay, so our feats need to be... Oh, charger. When you dash, you can take one melee action. That would be pretty good. Athlete could be good. Wait, can this be... If we take athlete, can our strength go over 20? No, okay. <laughs> I was going to see if we could cheat the program. <laughs> athlete would make sense. I mean, we could increase our dex, but who needs that? Uh, durable. I can add our con, yeah. Con increases by one, we don't need that. Grappler is definitely what I'm thinking. Advantage on grapple checks, yep. Great weapon master. <laughs> and it's just the muscles. <laughs> Yes, I am. Great weapon master. Heavily armored. We could like have a ridiculously high AC. <laughs> Moderately armored. Shield master. Tavern brawler. That's what I'm thinking. Improvised weapon efficiency. We might not need tavern brawler. Tough. Tough. Two extra hit points per level. <laughs> Charger. I like Charger for sure. I don't know, because great, great Weapon Master, we won't be able to use our fit, like... We want to be able to use our fists, right? <laughs> That's exactly it, Hobbs. So we've got Grappler, we need one more feat. See, we could go back and change one of our ability score improvements. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Unarmed fighter. Is that a s feat? No. Cast fist, I agree. I like tough. Whatever is ridiculous H people. Mage Slayer? It just acts like an O. I wanted to go back to our hit points. And see how ridiculously high our hit points will be if we just randomize some of these. Ah, two twenty. That's that's good enough. Let's just put all of our all of our hit points to maximum. Let's get the most. Okay, <laughs> why can't they do that? Oh, let's let's do that. I'll be fine. We need one more thing to do. Okay, we need to select our level second. We need to uh, pick our arcane tradition. What would give us the most fists? In Abjuration, maybe? Transmutation, we turn our fist to metal. I think necromancy would give us too much, would it? Mu yeah, where's muscle wizardry on this? What's I'm thinking abjuration. Yeah. He has to know Bigby's hand. At least to make him look bigger. Yeah, we gotta get Bigby's hand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Abjure. Transmutation become Iron Fist. That's true. That's what I was thinking as well. It's a choice for me between transmutation and abjuration for the muscle wizard. <laughs> See you soon, Tiger Lily. Have a good night. Illusion. You could have duplicate fists. We'll try this build first of all, and if it doesn't work. I warn you guys, we have 53 things to do on this tab, so a level 20 wizard takes a lot of work. Uh, okay. Now I need to pick the most... ...fists possible. Cantrips. We need five cantrips that have... ...that we can fist. Mage hand! Okay, it's got the word hand in it. Good. 
We're making a muscle wizard right now, Evan Lady. Uh, Mage Hand. Shocking Grasp. Lightning springs from your hand. At the very least, it's a hand. True Strike. Extend your hand and point a finger at a target in range. It's got lots of hands. Chill Touch. It's good. Magic needs you to grab it. I don't know. I don't think we can get an after Arcana from this though. Flame hands. Oh, uh, we can't. We can get flaming hands later. I think it's the first level spell, right? Uh we need one more cantrip. Light is a touch spell. You touch one object. All right, that would do. That would do. All right, those are cantrips. Now we have forty-four <laughs> spells. <laughs> Uh, level 20 characters are silly, especially wizards. Okay, burning hands. Easy. Okay. Anything with the word hand in it? Or fist, or... Jump, grease, loopy hand. <laughs> Holds the self. We're just going to go through it. It's going to be a whole list of them. Detect force, gentle repose, hold person. Jump and long strider. Jump with our fist. Was jump level two? Holy moly! There's so many spells. Oh yeah, jump. False life. Thunder wave is a good call, actually. Thunder wave is a good call. There we go. Hold per. I was I was thinking grease as well. Hold persons worth thinking about. I think. I'll keep up my maybes. Touch spells, touch spells. Darkness detect thoughts. Knock. How <laughs> we gotta have knock? <laughs> Mirror image is more fists at level one, level two. <laughs> Magic missile could be our fists, but hey. Mirror image. Free illusory duplicates of yourself? Sure. More fists. Yeah, we, d we don't need a spell. We don't need a spell for a hold person, right? Phantasmal Force... Shatter... Fear... Haste... Phantom Steed... Vampiric Touch... Spider Clan to walk in the scene, that'd be good. <laughs> I've seen a couple of hours of the game, it does take a while. Conjure minor elementals, dimension door. <laughs> if I was black tentacle, is my favorite spell in the game, so we have to take that one. Uh, Phantom steed <laughs> and jumpless fist sounds scary. That's true. Spider clan could be good. I do like phantasmal steed. Which one is that? Is that level three? Phantom steed. Yeah, let's do that one. Polymorph. <laughs> Fire shield, okay, creature. Oh, I don't know, polymorph would take us. Can we polymorph into a fist? Stone shape could be good, or stone skin. We turn the flesh of a willing creature we touch as hard as stone. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Bigby's hand, there we go, the wombo. I like it. Gee, I don't even know what that was. Hold monster, mislead, pass wall, the Donald Trump spell. Could be, could be good. Yeah, yeah, Bigby's hand is the, the legendary circle of death. Disintegrate. Yeah, we all have disintegrate, right? We touch rings, they just blow up. Magic jar. Sunbeam. Finger of death. We have to take finger of death. Don't need a spell if you are a wall of four. Older self, more on after. Oh, I'll just go back and find all the self in a second then. Simulacrum. Teleport. We've got to be teleporting around. Demi plane. Dominating a monster. Power word stun. That's good. Now we're getting to the fun stuff. Power word kill. Yes. <laughs> True polymorph. <laughs> we have. To, we absolutely have to take a wish spell. Simulacrum? Oh, we take simulacrum. 
<laughs> Finger of Craigasm. How many have we got left? We need to choose 30 more spells. Time stop. Time stop. Yeah, that's a good one, actually. <laughs> Power Fist. Astral Projection. Sunburst? Mm. <laughs> because why not at this point? Shape change, true polymorph, why not? Let's just go all out. We can control the weather. I don't give a shit. Uh, reverse gravity, how do we not see that? Project image, yes. Plane shift, why the fuck not? True sight. Create undead, sure, more people to punch people. Circle of death, why not? Wall of stone, yes. Telekinesis, sure. Password, why not? Whole monster. Really at this point with 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 twenty of lower character, you just pick pretty much everything. Stone shape, wall of fire, animate fists, uh private sanctum, <laughs> hallucinatory plane, fabricate. <laughs> we can make some stones. Blight. Curse on the stones. Uh stinking cloud. Oh man, this is fun. Fly, <laughs> why the fuck not? <laughs> Fear. Everyone should be everyone should be a Meteor Meteor Swarm. What was Meteor Swarm? Signature spells. Uh Phantom Steed and Vampiric Touch. Uh, burning hands and our not could be our spell mastery. How many more do we need? Three remaining. Uh three remaining Haste? Okay, haste. We need to search for haste. Can I control F this ship? Haste. Confusion. <laughs> I, think we, I think the wizard himself is pretty confused. We'll take confusion and next one I see. Meteor Swarm. Do we already take that one? No. Alright, Meteor Swarm. Alright, that is 44 spells taken from a 20th level wizard that we chose. If we did the shortest character sheet, then <laughs> we just made the longest character sheet. Wow, okay, next. Proficiencies, Arcana. We'll take History, if there's anything else. Can we take Intimidation? We already have it, because we're a fucking baller. Uh, everyone's intimidated by Dragon Chess. It's the best game in the world. Equipment. He can punch the effects of gravity away from himself. That's right. This is how... This is... This is honestly the new meta. And I don't know what wizards are doing about it, but I'm pretty sure I've broken the game uh, with how good this build is. So, I mean, Chris Perkins, get on it. Get up and... Get up in my DMs. Um, weapons. <laughs> all the proficiencies, all of them. Alright, weapons now are the most important part of this. We don't need any weapons. I'm thinking, unless anything gives us more fist potential. I don't think it does. Armor. <laughs> we just wear, like... <laughs> scale mail. Half plate. <laughs> For our AC of 15. Well, uh, what's... Chain mail is 16, right? Is there anything higher than that? And we have a shield as well. <laughs> Chain mail and shield, we get 18 AC. <laughs> Silly. Magic armor. Adamantine armor. Half plate. Lol. Nah, we, we don't need any magic armor. I mean, we should have some magic items. We're a level 20 character, so we should have some. Spiked gauntlets. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Proficient in performance, that's a good point. It flexes and the world breaks. Let's go back and change that. Why can't I choose it? Oh, I can't choose it, okay. Well, I'll keep that. Um, equipment. <laughs> Ball bearings. It just carries barrels on him. Blow and tackle, hello. Plus five brass knuckles. <laughs> Are there knuckle dusters in D&D? Or is that kind of just improvised? Torven thrower, glaive, holy avenger, greatsword. Knuckle dusters would be good, but I don't think they've got them here. Vicious weapons are good. 
Okay, uh, we're gonna have... <laughs> I just got crowbar on one of those. Holy symbol. The holy symbol of, uh, uh, the, the school of history. Lantern Bullseye. Monster Hunter's Pack. Could be useful. Vorpal Knuckle, dust, knuckle Dusters. <laughs> okay, I can't think of anything else much to add in there. Bag of Beans. Of course we've got a bag of fucking beans on us, why not? We're a walking bag of beans. A cape of the Monte Bank. Clubs of Fisting. Gauntlets of Storm Giant Strength. That's a good idea, actually. Is that other? Let's see. Gauntlets. Anything which increases... It might not put it over the top, though. Gauntlets of Ogre Power. Does that increase over 20? I don't know if it does. Still worth worth giving it to us, so worth giving it to us. Yeah, we can't go over higher than twenty. It seems like boots of teleportation. <laughs> Let me find magic items. Belt of cloud giant strength. Fuck yeah. Gloves of missile snaring. I'm hoping all of these are actually real, or at least they're in the S I D D. Ah, there we go. Gloves of missile sh snaring. <laughs> Manual of gainful exercise. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Belt of fire giant strength. Yep. Oh, 27. There we go. <laughs> now we're getting stronger. How many belts can we wear? <laughs> Captain Gunboots. We're creating characters right now. We're making a, a muscle wizard. A level 20 wizard right now. We're having a bit of a laugh. Belt of hill giant. Belt of storm giant. It's 29 strength. <laughs> Gauntlets of Ogre Power. We might have had Gauntlets of Ogre Power already ed edited in. I can't add them in, yeah. Horn of Blasting. <laughs> uh, a, 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 a muscle wizard is basically a joke. It's uh, a wizard who just punches people. And he uses spells to punch people as well. Potion of Growth, hello. Ring of Ointment, hmm. <laughs> just a muzzle wizard. It is just a bit of a troll, really. And wings are flying, because we need fucking wings. Treasure. We need some platinum pieces up in here. The devil's number. We'll have a playing card set, a scholar's back, and an arcane focus, which will be a rod. Yeah, yeah, very much so. We need... We need a name for our character, the Muscle Wizard. Some kind of fist-based pun, I think. He's got one silver. I kind of like that idea, actually. <laughs> he has a silver piece. We need a name. That's our that. That's what will really complete this character. You know, truly truly complete and, and, and finish off what we've started here. What's your thing about using wear sharks for any game? Fuck yeah. Rod Knuckle Dragger. That's good. Rod Knuckle Dragger is certainly good. Sounds like Juggernaut from Expert. A little bit, I guess. Yeah, a little bit. Faust. That's uh, the character in Rem's character's head <laughs> in uh, Numenera. Rick Ramrod the Magnificent. It's got to be Rod involved in there, right? We like Rod. Russell the Muscle Wizard. Russell the Muscle. Sif Nori. <laughs> Puncher. Punisher. Armstrong. <laughs> Rod. Cuck Norris. Rod Armstrong. Surf Pistola. Rod Armstrong. The Ram Rodder. Yes. Yes. He rods all of the rams, and rams all of the rods. Uh, at the, the tender age of six years old, Rod Armstrong the Ram Rudder. <laughs> Ram Rudder is a six foot eleven dwarf wizard of 20th level who weighs 
250 pounds. It's hair color. The right Leander. What hair color should Rod have? Thinking like a platinum. Platinum. Rodney Strong Rudson. <laughs> Skin color. Personality trait punches people. Personality trait works out. Richard Osiris Sebastian. Rod Stewart the Rodnificent. Rainbow. Yes. Very good. Are you new here, Captain Gumboots? You're fitting right in. <laughs> oh, what if he's bold and his eye his eye colour is rainbow? <laughs> bold as to not to distract from his muscles. This makes a lot of sense, Gilly Sparks. This makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Black and yellow, black and yellow. He has no hair, only popping veins. His eyes are... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, only... Bulging. Whoops. Bulging veins. Eats nothing but lard. Strict lard only diet. Hey, the Rhino Beto. Beto Beetle for following. Oh, green buddy. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay. An eye on each knuckle. <laughs> Holy mackerel. I like that idea. <laughs> He's like a beholder. His eyes are his fist. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, Jamarco, what's up, buddy? I put things and put them down. Pick, f okay, ideals. Picks things up. Puts them down again. Sometimes they're alive. Bonds. I will. I will punch. Until there is nothing left to be punched. Flaws. His eyes are in his fists. When he. We're making a muscle wizard right now, Jamarco. When he. What about. His floor is when he closes. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, in the palm, the palms of his fists. When he closes his fists, he can no longer see. This makes it difficult for him to punch. <laughs> Captain. Constant manicures. This makes him... Uh, makes it... Hard... For him... To... Punch... Things. We need an image. If anyone can find me an image... Of... Rod Armstrong... The Ramrodder... The six year old... Maybe not six year old. If there are some... <laughs> Don't search anything that you shouldn't, but post links in chat with some some appropriate images for this character Floor my chisel drawer is chipped You must taste blood before he can take on any other task <laughs> uh, Faction named the ram rodders Yeah, that's good we have to get into uh, in some description and backstory here and in a few moments a magic in his body that can give him the power to grow two hands and his punches can reach the speed of light. <laughs> Deleted link. Oh, that's a good image. I like it. <laughs> Let's see what touchpad's got. Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
<laughs> MC Gamer wins. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Why did you so quickly get that link? <laughs> oh man, okay. Try this. Alright. So, the Ramrod is his faction. So, um, six years ago, Rod was born. It was a time. I hate how this thing writes. It's it's not my keyboard or me. It's like that. It like either auto corrects it or just doesn't compute. It was on this day. Perhaps <laughs> it was a peaceful world then. <laughs> Fuck me. Now much then that day everything changed. Yeah, everything changed. Everything. My goodness. Rod wasn't born, he punched himself out of the stomach. <laughs> yes, uh... Upon birth. I'm actually gonna write this in this character sheet here, because it's annoying me how slow it is. That is going. Upon birth, Rod punched everyone in the room until there was no room anymore. <laughs> he quickly grew in power and none could stop him. Adventurers from across the lands were promised huge bounties but all they received was Rod's fist. I know it's a prayer, prayer for D&D is way more fun than playing D&D. <laughs> Sometimes it can be. Yeah. Some, some parts I like more than others. Um, well it's huge, it's Rod's fist. In time, Rod came to accept himself. And the fact that his eyes were in his fists. It took longer for society to accept Rod. Bible fun. But by the time that his rampage was over, there weren't many people left. Uh, <laughs> to hate on him, homie. Let me see, strong. <laughs> looks like, looks like guy might be it's like someone's dad or something, you know. Um, his father was a champion boxer who was cheating and fights using magic powers to transfer to his son before he died. Man, left to hate on him. These days, Rod can be found. As king of Rodtopia, punching anyone in his path. Let me see. <laughs> oh my god, that is terrifying. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. This is a. This is another beautiful story that we're writing here. I mean. Not many, not many people could create stories like this, but you guys did it, you know? Image cannot be loaded? Are you kidding me? Alright, let's, let's try this image. It yeah, told me it wouldn't work. There we go. Let's bring, let's birth Rodney into creation. It's... It's beautiful. Wow. It's, um... It's everything I wanted it to be. And... And so much more. 
29 strength rod. Maybe one day he'll get up to 30. 10 dex, 20 con, 7 intelligence, 216 hit points, 12 wisdom, 12 charisma. <sighs> there was Rod, and Will knew it was good. You know, I may be. Sway. We know who our baby is. I may be the world record holder for the fastest Dungeons and Dragons character created in the world. I may be in the Guinness World Becker Records 2017 for uh, for that, but some things require time. Things like Rod, Ram Rod, Rams Rod Armstrong, the Ram Rodder, the Muscle Wizard. And you know, sometimes, sometimes things like this don't need to be rushed, you know? I mean, look at him. He is... beautiful. And his story is powerful. Um, his spells are, um, are many. And I just want to thank everyone who's who's gotten me to to this point. Um, I want to thank my my mom, my dad, my, all my family. Um, and I'm, and like I'm saying, guys, I've been telling you for a long time now. This is the new meta, and is it game breaking? Yes. Does it change the game forever? Yes. Will there ever be a better Dungeons and Dragons character? Honestly? No. Should Chris Perkins and the design team really look at what we've done here and think real long and hard to themselves about what they're doing? Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And... Yeah, they should be worried, because there are, you know, there are people out there who are making this stuff, and... <sighs> Good damn tree pot. And I just don't see them selling any books in the future if they don't include Rod Armstrong, the Ram Rodder. So I'm just... What we made here today is beautiful, and and we should be proud of ourselves, my friends. I've, I've saved that character sheet, and I will never forget this character. We love you, Rod. Alright, let's make a... <laughs> I can spend an hour making characters. You should have one day a week where you make characters like this, and then one day a week you force your regular supply of one shot with them. <laughs> Maybe I should. Trapper's all sway, yeah. Wow. For D&D present. I've already forgotten Rod. Who was that guy? I don't remember Rod. I don't know. <laughs> that image. <laughs> Alright. Good job, Rod. Good job, Rod. Gone, but not forgotten. Forever in our hearts. Rod's song will sing in Valhalla. He goes to meet his ancestors. Where he will be remembered, and where he will be loved. F for Rod. <laughs> the Rodinator. Man, okay, um... <laughs> ah, damn. I barely know her. I barely knew her. <laughs> Current world record is still at 40 seconds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one try. I'm gonna try and beat the world record one more time. Uh, I am the current world record holder, but um, you know, officially I do have the uh, the title. But I just, I just do want to see if I can, if I can beat it. Um, I'm gonna try it one more time, and if not, then then we'll call it quits and then we'll make another character. 
We need to we need to think of the our next character we're gonna make. We made a muscle wizard. What other ridiculous things can we do in D and D? All right. This this is perhaps the biggest moment of my life. I'm gonna try and beat the world record, which I've set. Three, two, one. Go back in here real quick. Three, two, one. Go. Half orc. Done. Ability scores. Done. Background. Chaotic evil. Charlatan. Go. Class. Barbarian. Fine. Spells. Done. Animal handling. Athletics. Done. Weapons. Crossbow. Armor. That. Uh, I need to pick great axe. I need to pick hand axe. Uh, print. And stop the clock! I didn't even run the clock! I didn't even run the clock! I'm pretty sure that was under 40 seconds. Fuck! Let's go again. Let's go again, team. I clicked the wrong one. That was just a test run. Um, I've got to go. <laughs> One more time. I did record it, that's true. I did record it, but it's not the same as if... So I need to run this timer here. And that was so like that. Okay, reset. Okay, reset. Back to race. Like, you may say another half old barbarian, but it's strategically the best, the best and quickest race to do. We're not going for best character here, we're going for quickest character. We already made the best character in the world, which is Rod and Lemmy. Alright, let's try again. Three, two, one, go. Done. Oh, and go. I have to pick tools now. Barbarian, done. Uh, athletics, done. Weapon, club. We're going to give him some armor. Like that. Great axe, hand axe, print. And something o'clock when it loads in. 21. Mm. Wow. 21 seconds. Yes. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I am the greatest Dungeons and Dragons player ever. Not only am I the greatest, but it has been proven that I am the fastest. And that's something that you can ask you can ask Sydney about. We did it, Reddit. We did it. This is Confirmed to be the greatest Dungeons and Dragons channel on the internet. I will have my medal now, Wizards of the Coast. I will have my medal. I will. I will have my vengeance. Hallarif, you are no fun. Seventeen seconds. Playable character. I am the greatest. Yes. <laughs> Imagine if how Drizzt is created. We should make Drizzt, man. We should make Drizzt. Can you beat that time? I don't even know, man. That was pretty strong, you know? That was pretty strong. Whew. The speedruns. The speedruns. The strats. The Madman. This is why they call me the greatest Dungeons & Dragons character player in the history of Dungeons & Dragons. Just proven it. I've just proved it. Um, make Drizz. Well, we need a druid wrestler. We did a druid. We've done a... Uh, we've done a muscle wizard. What other good builds are there? Drizzt in the 60 seconds. <laughs> Oh, you can make you can make Drizzt in a, a lot less than sixty seconds, I'm sure. Oh, what else could we do? What's a fun concept for a character to make? The quickest in-game bard. Bards are good. I like bards. Bards might be my favorite class. 
Spellcasting Fighter? Well, you could do an Eldritch Knight, an Aracocra. We can't do anything which isn't in the PHP, unfortunately. Goliath Wizard. Can we do it in this Orc Pub? Can we choose different races here? Yeah, we can. Okay, so if we go to this version of Orc Pub, then we can choose uh, anything from Volo's Guide as well. So we can, we might as well do that. And uh, let's start some music going again. <laughs> Beach Ball character. Warlock possessed by a demon. Sure. Eldritch Knight, an entertainer, social character. Giant Rogue. <laughs> the least stealthy rogue. That could be an interesting idea for a character. A Ganassi. A Kenku. Kenku are perhaps the best. A Chipper Goliath Warlock. Eldritch Knight. Asimar Eldritch Knight. Protector Asimar. Which is a broken Asimar, the one that you can fly all the time with. I know that, um, I know someone requested a Eldritch Knight Asimar, so I'll do that real quick. I'll leave the name blank, uh, for whoever wants to play. I know someone wanted to do it. Uh, oh, I don't know what the name should be for an Asimar. I think Kenku would be so much fun. Beach Bombard plays a crazy Jamaican drum. A turd demon, giant gladiator. <laughs> we'll just whip up a real quick Asimar, just in case someone wants a sheet for it. Uh, strength and Dex, those are good. Oh, what was it? Eldritch Knight? I'll just call it Asimar. Exclamation point Orc Pub. If someone could do that for me. Uh, I will export a PDF for that one real quick for someone wanted an Asimar. <laughs> I've got so many character sheets here with Rodney. Eldritch Knight. Alright, let's see what we want to do. I want a Kenku. I want a Kenku something. Thanks, Hobbs. A Kenku Ranger. Okay. Kenku. Ooh, Kenku names are going to be difficult as well. Uh, um, sub race. I'm going to Kenku sub races, right? What? What class? Do we go ranger. I haven't played a ranger in a while. <laughs> um. Storm Origin Sorcerer. Can we do that on this? I hope we can. Sorcerers get a pretty underplayed. Storm Sorcerer. Yeah, we can. Okay. Still a level 5 Kenku Storm Sorcerer. Who's learned... Maybe he's learned about the storm. He's only managed to learn about the storm's magic via being caught in a storm before. Tweety for the name. Tweety. Oh, we're going to name last. Like, we're getting a concept as we go. What what about a folk hero hero Kenku sorcerer who's just totally lucked into the whole sorcerer deal because he was caught in a storm once and now he knows that magic because Kenku can only what the fuck's going on, on my green screen today um, Kenku can only like learn stuff via like stealing it from other people right oh, what the fuck's going on with this thing well how long has it been like that let's cut it out cut it out. He learned a storm edge by being struck by lightning, exactly. Does lightning strike twice? Twice, that's what he's trying to find out. Or was it a Sharknado? How many Sharknado movies did they make? There's like at least three, right? I know there's at least three. Maybe there's more. Uh, let's go point by Kenku Sorcerer. Uh, what's, the, what's the thingy for sorcerers? Charisma? It's like Arcana as well. I mean, basically take all of these. Uh, we'll take Deception and Intimidation, because we're scary like a storm. And everything but Acrobatics. Okay. What software do I use? Uh, OBS, I guess. Any uh, Anything which can chrome you. He imitates a magic storm. Yeah. Five Sharknados. Wow. <laughs> That is, uh, that is quite something, isn't it? 
Okay, so we'll go charisma based. Uh, so if we point by, there's minus. We don't need anything in strength. Maybe we, uh, maybe we just roll. Tells you how good a movie that is. So obviously max out 15 in charisma. We'll be wise. We'll be intelligent. Kenku should be intelligent, right? We'll play. We'll play uh, intelligent Kenku. That was not responding. No, walk pub. Why do you do this? I click it and it doesn't work. God damn it. JJ, what am I doing here? Five Sharknadoes and the spin-off. Wow. And a video game, really? Fuck me. Okay, I can't seem to click on this. Can I save this? I can just try reloading it, I guess. It won't take me a second to get it back. Why is this so realistic? We'll make, we'll make a female one. We haven't, made a, we haven't made a girl yet. What were we doing to Kenku? It won't take me two seconds to fill this out again. This is the beauty of Orc Pub, really. Storm Sorcery, one speed level. We could do a multi-classing thing. We could do five levels in Sorcerer and then a few levels in something else. <laughs> Oof, got tribe member. Oh, no, we wanted to go folk hero, didn't we? Uh, let's see. Point by. Will you let me buy charisma, my friend? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, point by just wants to break, apparently. Well, let's, let's, let's re-roll, shall we? <laughs> Until we have something high in charisma. For some reason, a point by he doesn't like my browser, or it's just fucking around, I don't know. 16 charisma's good. We'll just keep rolling like scumbags eggs until we have high charisma. That'll do. Uh, and then our level bonus should make us go up to 18. Nice. Kenku don't fly, unlike the arrow cochrans. We could give him a lot of levels in wizard and then give him the fly spell. <laughs> uh, let's choose our conception, insight, and deception. Maybe he's really bad at deceiving people and really uninsightful. Ah, oh, we can't really do that, can we? Uh, languages. Uh, obviously speaks common. Oops, common, there we go. Don't necessarily want Dwarvish. Is that Kenku? No, Kenku don't. They have uh, Mimicry, right? Name Phil. <laughs> <laughs> it's Phil's jerk bird. <laughs> we make, we're making Phil's jerk bird. <laughs> Phil bird, I like it. Oh, wait, 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 where's Phil's IMDB? Philip Fallon, I am DB. Hope he doesn't mind me taking a picture of him from the internet. This is my favorite picture of. Wait, I need to find my favorite picture of Phil. Found it. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. We're all ready. We're all ready. Or we need to, like, someone, if someone can, like, Photoshop, like, a picture of Phil. <laughs> uh, and put a bird's face on it. That would be fantastic. Uh, exotic. We could speak Aarakocoran. Why not? Not abyssal. Artisan's tools. Cook's utensils. We could be a cook in our spare time. Or we could blow glass. Mm -hmm. Tinker's tools. You gotta listen to something bird or create a character. Fan art, please. Please. The air primordial dialect. Can we take that? All right, sure. Unmade class. <laughs> God bound. Please. Please. Has to be something of windows. Oh, well, glass blowing. Because it, it, they, they create windows. It's a glass maker. Uh, dice set, because it's D&D. Musical instrument. The swarm. I don't know what it is. Other. Disguise kit, because we're Kenku. <laughs> Every time he dies, he gets better. <laughs> he goes Super Saiyan. <laughs> this is silly. We should have we should have several levels in something else as well. So we're at level 5 Storm Sorcerer Kenku, but... We could also be... Oh, we could be an Artificer? So we, like, make shit, but we can't make anything. We just have to copy it. Maybe we make Storm Conductors as an as a... <laughs> Gunsmith. <laughs> uh, 
Or we could be a potion seller. Potion seller. That's true, Phil's bird is a flautist. You're right. Pan flute. Yeah. Flautist, flautist, I don't know. <laughs> Magic bird call. It makes sense. Player, Phil. I'll send him this character and see if he likes it. How many... Ooh. What should we multi-class into? We've got five levels in Storm Sorcerer. We need to multi-class into something else. But what, exactly? What could we multi-class into? When you die, you get better. Boost OP! Ever so get around some of your sins up in the next final form. Rogue? Oh, maybe maybe it should be rogue. Because it sneaks it wants to sneak into the window. Barbarian fall into a badass warlock. I'm liking rogue or warlock. We did a barbarian, so I'm thinking maybe we go rogue. Rogue's OP already. It's a f it's a mastermind. This makes perfect sense. Bard full of whistling. Oh, we'll take an extra level in Bard. <laughs> College of Valor, obviously. And we'll take we'll take three levels and Oh shit, I don't wanna do that. Ah! I wanted Bard, damn it. There we go. That's how we do this. So we'll take three levels now, we'll take two levels in Bard. So we'll be, we'll be level ten, you know? Retail is other stories, exactly, yeah. He can't you can't create any stories, just has to say the same one over and over. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, let's talk about armor. <laughs> We're a bard, sorcerer, rogue. What do we wear? Padded leather? <laughs> leather? I guess just leather, right? This character is so raven. Apparently they're remaking that and Sydney's friend is in it. He's playing a kid in when they remake of that so raven. Um, or spin up, whatever. Storm bringing window rogue, a true masterpiece. What what weapon do we wield? What weapon do we wield? An unarmed strike? Just like a bird? <laughs> Peck? <laughs> it's 1d1 minus 1. <laughs> this is so silly. Spell casting. We've got seven counter to choose. Fuck, okay. The magic flute. <laughs> Don't know if they'll let me do that. Can we go into homebrew mode? Yes, we can. Andy John Wayne, thanks for following, buddy. Homebrew mode should let me add in my own thing, right? Does that let me do it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. What does homebrew mode do? It's an advanced mode where you can enter whatever you like for ability, save skills, proficiency. This might be necessary if your character's path campaign of homebrew rules. Okay, so we can't add it into anything else, but we can into that. Spear is like a lightning bolt. Yeah, okay, yeah, spear. Spear. Here, even. A lance, no, a lance, a lance of justice. <laughs> it must be a magic item flu. I agree, I agree. We need like gravity uh, spells and uh, we just have to get all the lightning damage. We're like, we're like Kenku Palpatine is what we're playing. Yes. Anything lightning. Eldritch Blast is pretty good. Shocking Grasp spell on the dying. How many else can we check? We gotta take uh, Eldritch Blast. A baton! <laughs> A baton! Burning hands. We need lightning. Let's go to L. <laughs> All I want is lightning. Don't have it. <laughs> what level is lightning ball? Cool lightning. <coughs> oh man. Elemental weapon. Good. There's a lightning gel. It might be a magic item. Chromatic orb. That's first level, right? Color spray. Could be burning hands. Shocking grasp. Yeah, I got shocking grasp. 
Chill touch could be good. Chill touch could be good. <laughs> Vicious mockery. Kenko have to have that, right? But let's just kick a bunch of these. Actually, we got a bunch of them to take. We got three more to take, so why not? Friends, because everyone wants to, wants to be friends with people. Uh, that's the best way to make friends is to take the spell in D and D. Friends. That's the way that I found out I got friends in real life. The Pipes of Fiengol. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Sacred Flame and Firebolt. <clears throat> okay. Armor of Agassiz is good actually. The Pipes of Fingol. This is a D&D wiki, of course they have it. <laughs> it doesn't even mention what the ability does. <gasps> oh, wait, there we go. Your allies are the spell. You... Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Cast Marriage, yes. <laughs> First level. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't speak any languages. <laughs> he just speaks. He doesn't say... <laughs> Let's get rid of common. <laughs> we don't even know common. We're a Kenku. So we have to cast comprehend languages to understand people. <laughs> All we understand is the lightning. Okay. Disguise self. Kenku, good at that. Okay. Fog cloud. Sure, yeah. Something elemental is quite good. <clears throat> and... Rave sickness could be good. Thunder wave is good. Witch bolt. OP OP. You already people his head before, kind of like bumblebee and transforms. Yeah, yeah. And all he's heard is like a sound of <laughs> weird sounds. Uh, we get three second level spells. Okay. Have we chosen any yet? No. Um, the, the, the blur is good for escaping because he's going to want to run away from the lightning when it's coming towards him. Dark vision. Oh, he's Kenku, but he already has that, right? Fine steed. <laughs> Seriously, look at this. Do I want to? I don't have time to watch it right now. Mob Psycho. Oh. Looks looks pretty looks pretty weeb. I like it. Uh Milp's Magic Acid Arrow? Mm -hmm. Moonbeam could be good. The power of lightning and moon. <laughs> Shatter, of course. Third level we get one more spell. Fly. Every character needs fly. And then for a level four spell, Everlast Black Tentacles are so good. Uh, it could just be, it could be all kinds of storms. So ice storm, I guess. Moonbeam is the bomb. It's pretty sick because you get to like, you get to do loads of damage of it uh, repetitively. Okay. Uh, <laughs> don't need any feats. I don't think. These are did during my Saturdays, yeah, yeah. Ugh, that's a good stretch. That's a good stretch. Uh, we have a lot <laughs> too much. We need to write the back. We need a name for our character. Oh wait, we're Phil Bird. Phil Bird. Okay, so Phil Bird once lived happily with uh, chirping away. Outside Phil's window. Until one day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's how all of our adventures, like all our backgrounds are again. They used to be good, but then something terrible happened. Um, tripping away outside of Phil's window until one day Phil closed that window. Phil cut out that part of his life. I never looked back again. Yeah, Phil Tweety Bird, yeah. And for a Tweety account is made. Tweety. The Colonel Wright of his army. <laughs> his voice box was taken by a bluebird. He couldn't sing anymore. <laughs> I never looked back again. Tweety felt Betrayed and alone in the world. He cut out the window. Bog champ. Tweety made it his life's work to meme Phil in Twitch chat and to create 
as many meme based accounts as possible. This was his oath. <gasps> I just realized. I've just realized. We need to go pal we need to go paladin. Oath for vengeance. Oh, for vengeance. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is his oath. His oath is to destroy those who would stand against him. Those who shut him out. Bonds. I will get back inside. That window. Ideals. I just want to be loved. Personality traits. Feels betrayed. Easily l lashes out at people. <laughs> I mean, that, 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 that could be floor, actually. That could be the floor. That could be the floor. Also floor. Also, has no home. <laughs> Open the damn window. <laughs> and then, personality traits. Chirpy. Likes to tweet. Fun loving. Loves to sing. When allowed. Now we have created a level 5 Storm Sorcerer, a level 3 Rogue, level 3 Paladin, and level 1 Fighter. Yeah. I like it. At first... <laughs> it stares longingly through windows. At first, Tweety is just a Storm Sorcerer. Who accidentally got hit by lightning. He found refuge in Phil's tree. And the two became fast friends. Fat friends. Fast friends. There we go. Fast friends. When Phil betrayed Tweety, he multiclassed into Paladin to swear an oath into rogue to sneak inside and into fighter to kill Phil once he broke in. Yes. <laughs> I will punch you with my stormy fist of vengeance. <laughs> he spent two days making a theme song and he came up with this. Wow. I think this is PDF worthy, quite frankly. Phil Bird. <laughs> Look at this up here. You can't even fit it all in. <laughs> Source Sto 5 Rog Mass Free Pal Oat. <laughs> Pal Oat Free. Oh, I can't even fit it on there. Phil Bird. Player name Phil. AC 13. It's a light crossbow and a lance. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. I love it. Oh, no. James, thanks for retweet, man. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this show. Chirpy likes to tweet, fun loving, loves to sing when loud, just wants to be loved. I'll get ba I'll get back inside that window. Feels retreat, easily lash out people. Also has no home. Not very well skilled, but that's fine. You know, in this in this job economy, who, who has all the skills? This this is the image. <laughs> Phil's gonna hate me. <laughs> and uh, oh man, good, very strong, very strong. Character sheet, Phil's bird. Yeah, done. I like it. I like it a lot. 
and uh, I think I think Phil's gonna like it. I think Phil's drug bird is gonna like it too. And uh, really, it's just it's just fun for the whole family. Um, <laughs> goodness gracious me! Well, we've made a lot of characters so far. Uh, we've we've made like seven or eight characters. What does Phil's bird sound like in any window? I don't, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the giant lance of Phil that that is uh, going on there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we made a lot of characters so far today. Um, let's make a character named Shazam next. Uh, Shazam. Kalakazam. I figured we'd do a little, uh, you know, a little bit of Q&A in the last half an hour here of the uh, session. Um, of a stream because usually we do like two hours of Q&A so I figured we'd get put in at least 30 minutes of uh, Q&A somewhere or other and I figured it might as well be now so if you do have <laughs> giant last tiny crossbow if you do have any questions about Dungeons and Dragons feel free to file them my way I'll do my best to answer them uh, whilst we're doing that um, whilst we're doing that we'll of course make more characters whilst we're going but Feel free to uh, shoot some cues while we're while we're at it, you know. What happened to my music? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, music? Oh, YouTube's acting odd. Why you do this, YouTube? Okay, I must have pressed some button somewhere and now I'm not hearing music. Are you guys hearing music? Anyway, um, Critical hu Human Barbarian is mayonnaise an instrument. Not traditionally, but it could be used as such. Uh, let's think of another character we can make whilst we're, whilst we're chatting. You're hearing music, okay. If I just pull my headphones out, maybe that's exactly what I just did. Will, you fucking idiot. Don't worry. There is a reason they call me the greatest D&D player in the world. We've got tunage, good. Um, so who shall we make next? Also, if you're enjoying the show, hit that follow button and join us. Uh, da, da, da. We'll change the title. Um, Q&A session. Uh, ask. Cues. Receive aids. God damn it, make triangle characters, there's no such thing. Could be lube for an instrument. <laughs> um <laughs> I like th I like this character builder a bit more. What do you guys prefer? Do you go you prefer this character builder which is in like Alpha here, which we'll call the Orc Pub 2, or do you prefer the OG Orc Pub 1? I think I prefer 2. I like kind of having it in little, like, tabs that I can go through and know exactly what I need to do. How do I go about making a character, uh, making and playing a character person, uh, personally, or personality-wise? Uh, usually I think of, you know, interesting, um, people that I've met, or, uh, people in, in, in fiction and, and try and take something from them. Um, so I, I, I played a character... Who I was inspired by Magneto to play because I thought Magneto does some bad things, but you know, you, you know, you can see why I did him. Uh, so I wanted to play a character that was a bit more morally ambiguous, like that. So when it came to the personality, I kind of wanted to take some elements of that and then throw a little twist on it, so it wasn't obviously Magneto, you know. So yeah, I, I you know, I just did a little bit here and there. Um, steel, steel is what I do. <laughs> I like the visual too. I use more options. It's true, yeah, it's true. The original one does have more options than just the SRD. A thief named Shazam. Okay. Let's build a halfling. We could build a halfling lucky build, which is kind of crazy. Let's go halfling lightfoot. Uh, let's dice roll till we have a ridiculously high dex. 17 dex wasn't bad. We can do crazier than that, though. Shazam! Maybe he, like, appears in a bust of smoke, you know? <laughs> Four decks, I love it. <laughs> the hollow chocolate thing right now, is that weird? Milk? Milk and hollow chocolate. Ah! Could be fine. Could be fine. 
it's not like evil. That much is is clear, you know. But yeah, when I'm when I'm making um, D and D characters, I try and think of something that's a little bit inter more interesting than just he's a hero, you know, a, a really good person. I was thinking um, magic initiate for you. We don't get any fees. Um, and I was I was talking about this the other day when I was saying I think that uh, heroes are actually quite boring um, types of people or characters when you think about them. Uh, they just don't have too much to them a lot of the time. When you're like really good at everything and there's nothing really holding you back and stopping you, then then those kind of heroes aren't particularly interesting when they've got nothing to overcome. But the really interesting types of, I guess you could call them heroes, are people who have to go through a lot of stuff before, uh, you know, they're battling a lot of demons, maybe. Use a personality traits in a PHP. I like the, the ideals and flaws and bonds in a PHP are very good, yeah. I'll call them chaotic neutral. Steals here and there. Criminal background makes sense. Or urchin. Yeah, slight hand proficiency, stealth proficiency, that makes sense. Rags to riches type for always fun as well. Orc pub. Watch the whole thing. I'll, I'll watch it after stream. Yeah, I'll go urchin there. Rogue. Let's make a level... I get writer's block when I try. Um... Yeah, backstories can be difficult. It's very easy to fall into tropes, isn't it? You know, my parents were killed and now I fight. Or, orcs raided my village and now I'm... Fighting orcs. I hate orcs. Yeah, that kind of stuff is very easy to fall into. Um, I find tropes are, you know, tropes are good for a reason. Yeah, used for a reason. And then uh, twisting tropes a bit can go quite well. So we got arcane trickster. Let's do arcane trickster. Um, and we can take some spells of this as well. So write writer's block in general. Whenever I can't write something, um, Images work really well for me when I see an image of something that's particularly like eye-catching or inspiring and I'm like yeah I'm gonna try and make a character that looks a bit like that. Um, so that works for me um, People from stable family situations really go adventuring how many uh, how many adventurers do you know? P5 I was sketching a rogue charlotte once who does street magic and tends to know magic but never learns some actual magic yeah, I'm just saying the my parents were killed is perhaps the most boring thing to go for. Um, it can be interesting, right? But um, yeah, not for me. We're gonna go minor illusion, press the digitation, and dancing light. Light wouldn't be good. You're a thief. Message could be useful. Message is always useful. Yeah. Well, oh, how true. Shahrazad. Still found a sudden teenage outburst. Suddenly find himself alone. Tell that to Batman. Yeah. The greatest character ever written. Batman. Uh, we're going to go for... Silent Image and Sleep. <laughs> Total confidence in us. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, you guys be fine. We, we wrote it earlier today. There are definitely no terrible monsters involved. Finding flaws are good, yeah. What if you're killed and you're a spirit animal? In D and D or just in life, Jamarco? I mean, that's a that's a good question. If you're running around a certain location, having dependent balls or people that can be used against you, like family, makes for great story arcs. Yeah, I find actually having the family a part of the story is 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 a bit more interesting than uh, you know they got killed by orcs or whatever. Having the family alive is also great for the DM because you get to screw with them. And we get one third level spell. Oh man. Sky self? Sure. Calakazam. Proficiencies. Acrobatics. Yep. Deception. Yep. Athletics. Eh, maybe we'll take more think about it. Investigation. Perception is good. Alright. Yeah. We don't need athletics. Uh, we'll take some skills. Acrobatics and deception. Oh, we've already got deception. Oh, expertise, yeah. 
Uh, in that case, we're going to take acrobatics. Take slap ham. Or stealth. Eh, yeah. <laughs> Captain of no feelings, it was hard to play. Hmm, interesting. That would have been bounty hunting, it was never really good at. Tried getting along with girls, never really good at. Tried to become more handsome, never good at either. Man, tough life. Fug life. I can tell that you didn't choose that fog life, but the fog life chose you. Why did that me on Friday game? Is it was about to do one of my friends in a game in regards to the family being alive. Yeah, I, I you know, I found, um, for instance, in our in our podcast, Adventures Anonymous, new episode out tomorrow, by the way. Uh, all of the family, uh, the family is like a huge dynamic in that in that storyline. You know, whether they're still alive. Um, well, actually, more on that this coming episode. Um, but yeah, I found that to be really, really interesting because the, the characters automatically have really, um, you know, like strong motivations to find characters and to do things, you know, already feel like part of the world. Now, what do you think it is? <laughs> so you feel, you free fell through the something half the continent doing jobs to keep yourself alive. Follow me. We are peeing in chat. This is some ERP I'm watching. My poor druid of central. This isn't chat, but is it? My poor druid sent to the main town by his folks to go and pay taxes, and he rolled all in adventuring by suddenly becoming a deputy for a forest warden. But I didn't shoot a deputy. We're gonna have a. Uh, oh, I wanted a hand crossbow actually. Uh, darts are good. Sure, let's have ten darts on us. Some plum butter, please. Uh, short sword. Never can be too careful. Armor. Lever. Padded. Sure. I like writing stories. You should play this game I've heard called Dungeons and Dragons. I'm the current world record holder for the fastest Dungeons and Dragons character ever created in the universe. Pretty big deal. First time weapons are going to be good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, any other equipment we want to add in? Antitoxin. An arrow. Do we have backpack? Backpack would be good. We need a we need a bag of loot for when we're stealing stuff. I mean, that would already come in our adventuring equi equipment bag. Burglar's pack sounds good. Uh, we'll take a rapier. Why not? Why not? You tell me. I uh, will take a short bow, since we've already got a short sword. No other treasure or magic items. No worries, Jamal. We'll see you soon, buddy. And anything else we want to add? A mirror, a steel mirror. Paper. What could it mean? Ten foot pole. Oh, a token to remember our parents. Maybe, yeah, okay, sure. I also want a ten foot pole, though. So don't... I'm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling pretty... Pretty short changed here. Where did it go? Pole. Damn it, where did my pole go? <laughs> Wrecked. Wrecked and erect, my friends. Whatever shall we do? Alright. So our packs, what else do we need? I think that's pretty much it. Shazam. Oh, Jamako, if you wanted this character, I'll save it. I'll throw it off on a website for you, mate. That's what she said. Hey. I want my 10 foot pole, hey. <laughs> Play a 10 foot pole is my team already game. Man, we started up playing Tales from the Yawning Portal uh, last Wednesday. And um, we're not yet into... Hey, Sir Michael. We're not yet into Tomb of Horrors. Um, I will do... How to put this in titles? Exclamation point orc pub, my friend. Exclamation point orc pub. Uh, but yeah, we haven't got to the Tomb of Horrors yet, but we got to uh, Shattered... No, Sunless Citadel, not Shattered Citadel. Sunless Citadel. And boy, I am having a blast playing through uh, for Yawning Portal. I, I really did enjoy that. Um, I'm excited for this week's. Uh, I don't know. Jamarco wanted this one. There we go. I'll let him fill in his personality traits for this, this bad boy in particular. I also have an Easter egg, which is fantastic news.
Shazam. Okay. Is it hard for me to stay in character and do what a character would do and not what you would do? I mean... Essentially, excuse me, essentially that's one of the hardest things you have to do in D&D, right? That's, that's role-playing at its core, is basically doing something that you wouldn't do and trying to get into a mindset of someone else. Um, do I also make homebrew characters? Uh, yeah, rarely I'll do that. Um, currently, the ones that I was just doing for folks in chat were all Volos or PHB. But I could look into it. I could be persuaded to uh, to take a look sometime, perhaps. Um, but yeah, um, that, it, it's difficult, right? But you just got to think about, you know, character motivation is the biggest thing for me when it comes to staying in character. Why does my character do what they do? What makes them who they are? Um, so, for instance, let's go with uh, my family were killed by orcs. Uh, now I hate orcs. In any situation that comes up with orcs, maybe half orcs, or any conversation regarding that, um, that's immediately going to change my opinion on things, right? Um, Artificer Classic fun? It is fun. What's up, Texter? Um, I played an Alchemist Artificer for a couple of levels. It was a good time. I didn't play it, like, properly, but it, it was still a good time. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, that's what helps me the most. Think about um, your your motivations. Why do your characters, or why does your character do uh, the things that they do? What makes them who they are? And usually that is informed by... Um, the things that have happened to people. So everything everything that makes us who we are is pretty much stuff that's happened to us in the past. So really fleshing out backstory helps for me. So this race, spirit folk and heroes of the Orient, that's why. Oh, that's, is that like, that's an older edition, right, from Heroes of the Orient? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's possible that you could come up with a, uh, I'm sure there's a homebrew for it. Check out sites like the D&D Wiki and stuff like that. Uh, that would be a good place to uh, to take a look um, for homebrew. Um, Fate of Virus for following. Welcome, my man. Appreciate that. A gentleman and a scholar. Um, when it comes to homebrew stuff, uh, I'm always uh, a little hesitant when uh, when my players want to play in particular. Um, depending on the game, depending on the setting, right? If it makes sense, you know, if you're playing in a in a Heroes of the Orient world, then sure, go right ahead, you know. Um, what person does day to life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, Pikeness is is right. Like when you're thinking about your backstory, just think about the day, like a daily routine. What does someone do in their daily life? What's like the beginning of their day, the middle of the day, and the end of their day on a typical life? Is it uh, well, I'm playing a blacksmith, so at the beginning of the day I get up, I cook breakfast for my kids and my family, and I go outside and I start heating up the forge with my apprentice. Or maybe I am the apprentice and I, I learn from my master. During the day, I'm, you know, beating out metal, basically, uh, and uh, and selling it. Maybe in the afternoon I'll go around the marketplace and, and try and sell some of my weapons. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, go back to bed and you're exhausted by that time's over. So, so those kind of routines actually help me think about my characters and flesh them out a little bit more. Welcome, Dead School. Thanks for following, buddy. So, so when that stuff starts to fit into place that's when I find a character's voice much more I'm not pretending as well that I know immediately diving into every campaign um, exactly what my characters are gonna look or sound like even uh, like voices or, or even everything about them uh, see you later dog see you tomorrow buddy um, for me sometimes I need to actually dive in and roleplay before I actually find that voice. Um, I think last episode uh, in Numenera, a series of stillness, I actually found my character Leviticus's voice, his motivations and, and what he was doing and why he was doing that. Thanks Rondo, welcome in buddy. So, you're a gentleman and a scholar. Uh, I haven't done that for a little while. Um, so, so sometimes it just requires playing it, which is kind of nervous. It's, it's kind of nerve-wracking going into it, right? You know, you're going into a session, you don't necessarily know exactly who you, who you are. Um, but sometimes, you know, even if you have a good idea about who your character is, um, you realize that that character is going to change a little bit. It could be that is due to the party dynamic, 
and you realize that you know I've I've created characters sometimes and I've realized that my character is definitely not going to fit into a group the way that I had them in my mind and so I realized when we sit down at the session everyone's playing different types of characters I'm like okay well how can I change my character a little bit to get along with these people because that's the main point of the game really is to work as a group and and to uh, to work with other people and other characters so so that really helps me um, just having a little bit of um, elasticity I suppose of the character that you make um, you know just because I am I figured up this you know slightly devilish rogue who would steal from things doesn't still you know steal stuff and, and, and break in a house and whatnot doesn't mean that by the time I sit down on a session that character is exactly the same once you figure out who the character is completely and once you've sat down and play it then you're playing that character right but at session one and you know session zero is a great place to figure out the kind of players Oh, the kind of character character you should be playing. Um, another thing that I uh, used to do more so than now, I, I don't find myself with uh, quite so much time on my hands uh, with uh, with this. Um, is uh, just talking in that character's voice, um, getting into that mindset. You know, whether it's just like you walk around this is something I um, I do sometimes it sounds kind of crazy right um, but like if you're walking around town or whatever just like pretend that you're that person and like you know if that's I mean you don't have to like walk like they walk and you don't have to put on their outfit or anything but to get that mindset when I have seen people around the crowd um, that that helps me you know like if I am this person then do I take the main road do I go from the dark alleys you know <laughs> I mean, that does sound a little bit insane when I put it like that, but it makes sense to me, and that, that helps me get into character when I'm just in that mindset, you know, when I'm just walking around thinking about stuff, you know. Um, particularly if you've got nothing better to do, uh, then, then why not practice, you know. Um, but yeah, that, that's just some, some food for thought. I'm going for an Asian-looking bard with a violin. It's also a bow, but I'm joining a casual campaign non-oriental. Well, my advice would be if you're walk through Essex like Shazam, walk through Essex like Rod Armstrong. Um, if you're playing any kind of homebrew, then first make sure that your dungeon master is okay with that. Um, so just ask him. You know, I'm thinking of playing this character from this website here. Here's the link. You can check it out. Um, and it's up to the DM whether or not you can play that character. So totally within his or her right to say, uh, sorry, but, um, you know, that's not allowed in my campaign. It's not, they don't exist in this world. So bear in mind that you might be shot down, but hey, you, you don't get it if you don't ask. So, um, so yeah, um, oh man. So our, our sponsors for this week, Mechanica, they just sent me this awesome link to a, a t-shirt on Teespring that's, that's being sold right now. The Sons of Tesla. I can pretty show this to you guys. You guys see that? Fuck yeah, man. It's a Mechanica shirt, and on the front it's got Tesla. Hell yeah. Is this a Teespring? Hell yeah, dude. Uh, link's in there in chat for you guys. I'm a, I'm a bit of a, uh, like a, a t-shirt addict. Um... It's fine by the DM. In that case, go right ahead. Uh, yeah, I've uh, recently went on a big spate of uh, t-shirt buying on Teespring. I'm like, I've got to stop doing this one. <laughs> and every time I see a new one, I'm like, but I want it. <laughs> uh, also, if you haven't checked out Mechanic yet, I've been talking about it. We're talking about it so much. Uh, it's fantastic steampunk horror RPG. It's a 15% sale on at the moment. Our sponsors for the week. So if you guys haven't clicked that link, then make sure to go ahead and do so and, uh, and check it out. My friends, check it out. Um, but, any other questions regarding D&D, &D, or in particular character creations and, and stuff like that? Yeah, Sydney, Sydney's been... <laughs> Sydney's like, stop buying so many fucking <laughs> t-shirts. Like, but I like t-shirts with nerdy things on them. Thanks, Chester. So we're taking a Gen Con, but it's just early option while prepping for convention. Nice, dude, nice. I'll see you there in one, maybe, yeah. I like it. Ooh. Got it, okay, cool. So, do you ever get to play in person or most of online, do you have a preference? Uh, about once, um, once to twice a year I'll play in person. Um, with uh, a group of friends that we started the channel with. Um, we no longer ever really get the chance to hang out because we've all separated across the globe, uh, or at least across the UK, but we try and, uh, get together once a year. Um, 
I I don't really have a preference. I mean, I really like playing online because I get to play with so many different people. But in terms of the actual like experience, playing in person, I think is a bit more fun. You, you get a bit more from it um, most of the time. But availability is such a huge thing for people these days. Matica's guy, how much abstraction do you usually use for your inventory? Oh, like 90%, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't do weights. Um, if it's reasonable, I'd, I'd have it. Or, you know, when I'm DMing, if if a player... Like, Is it reasonable I'd have this rope even though I haven't written it down? Yeah, sure, you know. Or even if I didn't write it down in my inventory. Is it reasonable I have, it, like, a tinderbox? Yeah, you know. Um, so I'm pretty abstracted that. When it comes to ammunition, I don't bother counting that either. Players can count that if they want to. Uh, will this VOD bod be on YouTube as well? Yeah, I think, uh, pretty much all of the, the streams go online on YouTube. But bear in mind, if you can't wait for YouTube, just go to Pass Broadcasts, and it's there right now. So you, so you don't have to wait for YouTube. You can go to My Pass Broadcast, which should be at the top uh, for you. Um, oh, maybe it's under Videos nowadays. Um, and uh, it'll be there. You can You can find it and watch it back. Right now, it's in the past, but it's your future. Da, da, da. I should. There, there we go. Um, but yes, um, today has been Sunday, and I realize I'm looking at the time now. I actually don't have much longer left on. Uh, tomorrow is Monday. Tomorrow, we are playing uh, the fantastic beginner's game, beginner's play D&D, which I'm looking forward to, which we wrote earlier on today with Phil. Uh, so at 1pm EDT, that will be on. At 4pm EDT, we're returning to Mutant Year Zero in Ruin Nation. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that a great deal. If you guys enjoyed today's show, I am heading off uh, now, but we're going to go off into one of our hashtag encounter raids into another fantastic channel. Um, I'm going to come with my dad, born in the 50s. <laughs> I like it. I like it. He'll appreciate that. Assembled in the 50s. Uh, we're going to go on uh, host and raid another fantastic D&D channel, which is Maze Arcana. Uh, so we'll be diving over there in just a few seconds. If you enjoyed today's show, hit that follow button and join us. Make sure you check out our sponsors, uh, Mechanica. There you guys go. And uh, like I say, join us again tomorrow for more D&D. If you missed any of the action, you can find it all on YouTube or as I just mentioned in past broadcasts on Twitch where it'll be there held forever. But it's a bit more nicely organized into playlists by Treepo on YouTube. So there you go. Uh, if you want to follow me around, home, whatever, exclamation point social, here's all of my YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, website. If I get the chance, I will try and put like Lemmy and Rod Armstrong, the Ram Rodder, up onto the website if I uh, if I get a moment here. So um, so so keep an eye. Out. I'll tweet about it if I uh, if I throw them up. But we're gonna go up to another channel. We're gonna host and raid them, and everyone's gonna go over there and spam another fantastic D and D channel. Amazing Khan, if you guys don't know them. Hashtag encounter raid, and uh, they're all set up over there in a little studio. We're gonna go uh, gonna go drop a bomb on them. So. I will see you guys in a little bit. Until next time, try to draw too many that ones. Want to be a laughing when you do. Good night, everyone.